Oh my god, I figured it out. Okay, hold on. Can, can you hear me? Before I say I figured it out, <laughs> let me get some confirmation. Okay, holy sh That was so stupid. I'm not even going to explain what was wrong. I li You know what happened? Three times in a row, I was like, I uh, hope you guys uh, don't mind. I haven't streamed in a while. It's probably going to be really dumb. And then every fucking time, I was like, wait, the mic's not working. And then I thought I fixed it, and I did it again. The mic was still not working. I did it a third time. The mic was still not working. Holy guacamole, boys. Okay. Let's switch over to the screen cap. Actually, screen blocker. Let me make sure I don't have anything anything embarrassing up. Okay. Let me, let me just make sure. Okay. Screen cap up. Make sure the chat is on. That was the old school map. That was the classic. That was the original map. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let me restart because I did the intro like 12 times. Before I figured out what was wrong. You know, I'm just going to explain it, because if I don't, it's going to bother me. I had I had my mic go into a different audio track, so that when I record, I can separate it, just in case I, you know, fucking sneeze while playing video games, I can just cut it out. And I forgot that it keeps those settings when you stream, so it was sending the mic audio into Narnia or something. I don't know. It, it don't matter. Let me, let me put the music back on, because we're going to be staring at the, the browser for a moment. Let's, let's get that back going. Oh, yeah. Turn it just a little bit down. Okay. Quadruple checking to make sure everything's okay. <laughs> there we go. That's almost that's almost like a little too loud. There, just a little something something. So it's been a while. I was gone. I know it's not exactly uncommon for me to disappear for months at a time, but as it turns out, I had an excuse this time. I was getting married, and Mrs. Cronk would prefer that I spend time with her instead of playing Conan, if you can believe it. So that's where I've been for the last couple months. I just got off of a, a, a plane, a 16-hour flight. I'm puking. I feel like a turd. But life is otherwise good. What what else can you ask for? And of course, I was working on a video, actually. I was going to drop a video that this patch might invalidate. That was going to be my, like... Because now that, I, now that I, can, I can make content again, I was working on something. And of course, Age of Four... Age of War Chapter 4 drops. And I'm going to have to rethink it. Mrs. Kronk co-op series. No joke. My wife is so good at PvP games. Like, we we dueled in Conan at, at some point, and she was just mopping the floor with me. She's just... Like, she learns so fast. Oh, you're right. I should add everybody in the Discord. Let me, let me get the Discord going. Let me send it. I'll send it on stream stream schedule at everyone we live boys send now hold are you sure send it all right there we go i did it i am definitely the lucky one she's fucking beautiful she's gorgeous she smells nice i'm a stinky man and i play video games all day <laughs> You know what's crazy, too? I spent the last three months with her mother-in-law. That's where I was. Trying to smooth over things with her family. That woman is actually Satan, okay? And, like, I know that there's, like, there's people... You know what? Let's do the patch notes first. We'll shitpost later, okay? But we'll, we'll, we will circle back to that. Never you mind, dear viewers. We will get back to that. We're going to skip the known issues because it's Conan Exiles. No, no. Her mother... Is that what I said? Her mother... No, my, my mom is a very nice lady. Her mom is satan satan incarnate but we'll get back to that we're gonna skip the currently known issues because when does conan not have issues let's be real has conan exiles ever not had issues like i can't even remember the last time there wasn't an active bomb dupe let's just we'll skip right past that part okay so new additions Apparently at night, when you're walking around, you can get ambushed by followers of Jebel Sag, and they can drop stuff that can lead you to the new content. This new content involves special boss fights, new merchants that sell stuff, and so on and so forth. We'll obviously check it out on the stream in a minute. In fact, we'll skip past it, because we're going to just look at that ourselves. I haven't actually looked at it yet, so we're going to figure it out. Mr. and Mrs. Kronk dueling at the wedding? She'd probably win. She'd probably win. 
<laughs> I don't think it would be a contest. They also added fatalities. I, uh, I'm pretty indifferent to this. I don't even know what to think about that. I feel like that's just going to be a pain in the ass, like when you're trying to farm favor. Like you knock somebody, they're dead, and then they stand there and you have to hit them again to kill them. And then if you accidentally like trigger the animation, are you going to be stuck in the animation and then getting killed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about. We'll we'll test that and we'll see what it's like. Where have I been? I've been tying the knot. Been being a responsible adult. Apparently, there's a follower overhaul for AI. The other big one. We'll skip past that because that's not huge. But the other big one is there's destructible camps in Sift. I want to look at those and see what they look like. Apparently, there's two of them, but they're like smaller. So they added the NPC Siege to Sipta, which is big, because it was a little neglected before. I'm a Sipta enjoyer, because I have phenomenal taste. So when the castle wasn't on Sipta to begin with, kind of a problem. Kind of a problem, but it, it's they're, they're making up for it. We have two camps now that are destructible. We'll go figure it out on the test live. I'm going to warn you ahead of time, my test live's resolution is wrong, and I can't fix it. It doesn't listen to me. And uh, I only noticed it moments before the stream, so I did. I don't have time to like edit the I and I or something. But such is life. New purge encounters. Uh, I've already seen some of these, but the um, the purge now has a chance to spawn all kinds of shit, including golems that have the bombs for heads, so they will blow up your base even if you kill them. And the ballista. I actually had some insider knowledge on this a long time ago, and I guess it got bumped back and it finally got in. This is going to be a new siege weapon that apparently does extra damage to avatars. And it's allegedly in the future at some point supposed to be pilotable by thralls. So this will be your replacement for protection against gods when you're offline is the, the siege ballista. So instead of having to like run naked at a god and drop bombs at its feet and hope that the blast hits, you can actually shoot it with the ballista and kill it that way instead. So that's the plan. I hope the wedding was amazing. We're... <laughs> but no, we, did, we didn't do any big thing. We literally just went down to the courthouse and signed the papers. She was like, if you make me do a ceremony, I'll kill you. But I don't want a ceremony either because that's, uh, that's a lot of fucking money. I'm a Conan YouTuber. I don't have money. <laughs> her mom wanted the ceremony of course but uh, no thank you no thank you correct yeah see I mentioned it a while ago but it's finally in bolts and balls it's a new siege weapon we're gonna just mess with it and see how it works Pro this is like this is the one that I was most excited for when I saw the patch notes this is probably really cool I did actually want to point out one thing with the sacred hunt apparently the bosses that you can summon to fight take minimal damage unless the player is naked. The way God intended, tell me that wasn't inspired by at least some of my gameplay. Let's let's be real here. It's like they made this for me. It's like here's a new boss gauntlet, but you have to be naked. It's like say less. I'm I, my my dick's already flopping. I'm out here. I wouldn't wear clothes if you held a gun to my head. <laughs> So we'll check that out, and we'll take a good look. I know I haven't made any videos in a hot minute. I've been busy the last, like, five months. Uh, yes, the Ballista also does damage to structures. It has bolts that deal damage to avatars and other stuff, I assume, and the balls which deal damage to structures. Little is an understatement. It's more like a belly, but all the more surprising I got married. <laughs> Inventory management overhaul. There's now 13 item filters, which to me sounds like too many. Like, tell me that doesn't sound confusing. Let's hold on. Let's get some. Let's get some tunes on here. Let's get some tunes. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Because if it's just me, you guys are going to jump off a cliff after a while. I didn't even, like, clear my throat before starting this stream. No no throat exercises, no nothing. Just launched it. Just sent it. 
the only zero content. Although on the bright side, if I stream, it will be on the on the channel, on the live tab. I'm remembering all this as you're bringing it up because uh, <laughs> it's been so long. You know what's crazy too? I can't even like do the, the usual joke of my squeaky chair because my chair finally fell the fuck apart, guys. Rest in peace. My gaming chair, I had it tied together with duct tape and string. It literally fell apart. It's gone. It's on. It's out on the lawn now. And the garbage truck would not even pick it up. They're like, you have to take it apart properly. This thing's a fucking mess. I'm like, I'm sorry. It even looked gross. Like, it didn't even look that gross in, in, in the house. But, like, when I put it outside in the sunlight, there are, like, stains on it. It's like, oh, jeez. I don't even know what those stains are. That just, that is a proper gaming chair. It just looks greasy. <laughs> I felt ashamed. It's like, listen, you need to break this down properly. This thing's a fucking mess. I'm like, yeah, maybe. Maybe I should have left it inside. I put it outside in the night, and now it just looks bad in the day. The sun's UV rays showed up the stands. Yeah, it's like a black light in a hotel room. Just, just unfortunate. Okay, but there are some big changes with the inventory management that I like a lot. Quick stack and quick split. Quick stack will, if you interact with a container, you have a button to grab and offload all matching item types in the container and your inventory. So you can like set up like a, a line of chests and just dump all your stuff in them while keeping it organized instead of having to stress about it. Kind of like how when they added those, uh, those uh, boxes that could only take certain containers, now you can apparently set that up through inventory management. Which for me, somebody who's got OCD, big help. And really, just anybody who's trying to manage a clan in this stupid game. <laughs> given given how unreliable people are when it comes to, to inventory management. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. There's die changes, new icons. Boogity boogity. New interface for the, the something something. I don't know. I glossed past mo most of this. Bug fixes. Let's see. I didn't actually read this part yet, so let's, let's do this together. A crash in the Black Alien. Okay. Hunting chests, I don't know what those are. Hatch frames can't be placed next to wedge ceiling pieces. That's a shame. I guess it's fixed now. Fixed, okay, you know what? This one I actually did know because while I was overseas, I was trying to film some content and it didn't It didn't work out because I just didn't have the time. Fixed an issue which allowed characters to use tools on nodes that are intended to be picked up by hand. Do you know what these guys did to me, dudes? I can't farm grubs with tools anymore. They fucking nerfed me. You literally have to farm them or pick them up by hand like an idiot. You can't like hit them with a tool and get 50 of them. Let's restart that. Yeah, they nerfed my early game grub farm. I think you can still mine crystals. I guess we'll test that out. We'll, in fact, we'll, I'll make a note of that. Actually, yeah, that's good. That's worth testing. Crystals and mushrooms. I wonder. It's kind of bizarre. If if it applies to crystals and grubs, that's kind of a kind of a night. Yeah, they targeted me specifically. I'd like to file a complaint. Yeah, it's like who who thought that was a problem? Who who was it hurting? Who was it hurting to just like gather up? Branches, too. That's another important one. We're just gonna have to test it. We're gonna have to test it. We're just gonna figure that shit out. We're gonna test that first. Uh, most of these are kind of... The cheer emote is now usable. Let's go. Uh, you can target lock the limbs of apes, rock nose kings, and the Krillandian, which I guess that'll make it easier to fight those, but... I mean, really... If you're using the lock-on for those big bosses, you just need to get under them. You gotta get right in their nuts. Smell that musk. Stab them up. The rest of this looks pretty minor. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Hello. <laughs> These nakeds are building sandstone too quick. No more branches. So I have a bit of a cough right now, too. Been traveling. I was stuck on a fucking plane for 16 hours next to a dude who kept sneezing on me. The whole fucking time. Even in his sleep, he sneezed. This guy would sneeze without opening his eyes and then go back to sleep. I'm like, how is it not legal to kill people like this? 
What, like, why is this man alive on my planet? He'd just be sitting at. It's like, you can't do that. That's not real. You're not a real person. I've never seen that in my life. <coughs> and now I've got a fucking cough because of it. Yeah. Unbelievable. Turn it, I was about to turn into a hostage situation. Fucking unbelievable. Good bro is multitasking. Yeah, this dude just would not stop dreaming about whatever he was dreaming about. I do have uh, videos in the works. No gameplay for a little while, but soon. At some point, eventually. I did try to film some content while I was overseas. It just didn't work out. Now that's a fix. That's a fix. That's a minor fix. Fix, fix. Mmm, mucus. Although I gotta say, the the food on the plane for once was actually pretty fucking banger. Delta Delta came through for me. They were pretty clutch. Had like a, a it had I had like chicken with roasted red peppers and like sweet potato mashed potatoes with like a, a cream and mushroom sauce on top with fresh fruit and like a, a sponge cake. I was like, damn, I'm only a plebe in economy class, and they're fucking, they're rolling out their red carpet. I guess for a 16-hour flight, they don't, they're probably trying to keep me from murdering that guy that was sneezing on me. That's probably what it was. They're like, if, if we don't if we don't placate this man, he's gonna, I could just loot this, can I? Yeah, let's, let's stop being idiots. <laughs> but it was nice. It was, it was a nice... Nice trip. I usually, whenever I fly, I vomit my fucking head off, so I just, I can't handle it. I have to... Let's get through the patch notes, and then we'll get to the shit posting. I said that earlier. It's like the fifth time I've said that. Standardizing nomenclature. Bed's building category is now bedroom. Okay. I mean, the rest of that's pretty minor, so I guess we'll just hop in and we'll see. Let's turn off the jazz for now. And then we'll get in game. Got the music up. Sup to actually let me let me do this properly. Let me go straight to the game capture. Okay. Before I forget, let's immediately check. Wow, no branches. You can't farm branches. Okay, we need to check crystal. And we need to check... We need to check puffballs. Did they finally add the submissive and breedable update? Well, there are furry bosses in, in this patch. So the ERP servers are probably going to have fun with that. Not that there isn't already a surplus of animal cocks on those servers. Like, I'm just saying, maybe maybe we didn't need more anthropomorphic animals in this game. If there's one portion of the community that doesn't need to be encouraged. <laughs> if only there was a some large issue that needs fixing. Hmm. Although it's always been like that with Conan, like you'll have some major game breaking problem and there'll be like a texture fix in the patch notes. Are you kidding? You can't mine mushrooms! Oh, that is just. That is just unfortunate. Let me set this volume down a little bit. So, uh, so you're just supposed to pick them up by hand? Yeah, I guess mass coal is the only way now, right? Well, the the patch notes mention that the only exception is you can use sickles on uh, on the on the fiber. Okay, so sickle works for this. Okay. Thank God, I was about to panic. <laughs> and it seems like the hitbox is actually way better now. That used to be really difficult to hit. Okay, cri crisis averted, everybody. Crisis averted. We're, we're okay. We can wipe our brows. I was testing something. Okay, so we're okay. I admit we were incorrect. I guess we'll fly up here and check crystals real quick. 
sickle on branches? I don't know if that would work, but I guess we can check. I'll, I'll go back into the desert in a second, and we'll check. I don't remember this tunnel being that long. Why is it the, when I'm like in it, in a hurry to get over here? Can't mine crystals anymore? They change color though. I made them angry. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. What? What is the purpose of that? I feel like it's like in a video game when something's about to explode. Exact as I said that, Sergeant Donut said the same thing. <laughs> no pick. Alright, so you can't mine crystals, but you can make them change color. For what reason? I mean, you know what? That's. Let's be fair, too. Let's be charitable. It could be a bug. It could be a bug, because you can still farm the crystal, or the, the mushrooms with the sickle. This could be incorrect, because they're changing color. I tried the sickle earlier. I guess you're supposed to either pick them up or use mass coal, but I mean, it could just be a bug. Old man, this is the best game ever, and you should buy as many copies as you can afford. Yeah, let's see if there's a difference between the red and the green. I got one crystal from a green, and one crystal from a red, so I guess that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, let's let's try different crystals and see what happens. Let's, let's go over here. <laughs> Good thinking, old man. Good thinking. Also, I do not have the test live on my solid state, so I apologize for the loading screens, but uh, I work for a living and I don't have the money for, for big expensive solid states. So you can't mine it. But why? What a weird thing to change, like, nine years after the game came out. <laughs> Thanks so much for the chat. This is very engaging. What, a, what is the point? I mean, this, this has to be, like, a mistake, though. I mean, I'm sure magic works, although I have to unlock all the, the magic. Yo, Minecraft update. Let's go. I think I have to, I have to physically fly over to the, the sorcery thing to unlock it, right? Yeah, that's my thing. It's like you literally mine crystals in real life. Like it, it literally makes sense to to mine it. Did they really? They put this tree just there to cock block me when I teleport over here. I I get stuck in that tree every time, and it's the only tree in the area. I'm also flying into shit because I'm reading the chat. Have sorcery unlocked. I'm pretty sure they added a command for this, didn't they? Like, at some point? Futures need stone and spell page, right? Excuse me, I can't spell. Yeah, I mean, the game's been... I mean, the official servers have been, like, the same three clans going at it since who knows when. For the longest time. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's, um... 
They did change the UI on this, but how do I give everything? Okay. Let's. This is the. This is like the really dumb way to get all your sorceries done. Because if you're in admin mode, you can just spam the same thing. Set up the speed. I usually blame the hackers, if not in every comp, then at least not in this one. Is it coming without hackers though? Let's be real. coping. I mean, at this point, I think after nine years of the game being the way that it is, I think if, if people aren't, like, on board with the way it is, I, it's, it's, a, it's a user error at that point. You gotta make your peace with the way things are. Thank you, Shane. Thank you. Surely they can just let me cast the spells, right? I shouldn't I shouldn't have to corrupt myself to do that. Excuse me, everyone. It's such a process to do this even. Eaters, sadists, and occasionally food. That's, pr that's pretty much the official way it is. Let me turn down this volume a little bit. Well, a little, a little aggressive. Oh, it's because my sound effects were up. I was testing something. Forgot about that. Forgot the pouches. So the harvest spell still works. So I guess that's just going to be the way that you obtain crystal, because it, it, it doesn't make sense to, to gather them by hand. Like, that's the opposite of efficient. I mean, surely that's a bug, though. That's, like, that's the kind of change that makes zero sense, though. But that has to be an issue with something. Let me go see if the sickle works on grubs, because that's, like, that's so cool. Name one time they made sense. Well, they nerfed horses at some point. <laughs> it doesn't work. Nothing. Well, that's what I was thinking. It's like, what what was the thought process behind that change? I guess I don't. Like, it's I guess it's supposed to be gathered by hand, which is like fine. But what was the harm with letting you just farm? Yeah, see, Zella, that's that's what I, I have a video in the works that I'm gonna have to change because of these changes too. I've got two that I'm gonna have to swap up because that is such a bizarre change. I guess you can still power level by hitting black ice because that's the try other grubs I guess I guess I can like on the bright side I always leveled with the uh, black ice anyways so I guess that's fine but it's just w what a weird change it's like just kind of makes things more tedious without reason thank you thank you welcome to the stream Bluebird. Fine. I guess I just have to farm my grubs the old-fashioned way. 
What a tragedy. What a tragedy. What, wh whose life could it possibly impact to make it harder to get grubs? Like, that literally only affects me. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just a nerf for me. Does the magic work on the grubs? I've actually never tested that even before. Let me see. It works, kind of. How many grubs did I get? Seven? Well, I guess I'm on single player. Why didn't these ones get mined? That's kind of hit or miss. I don't know if I want to use sorcery to farm bugs. It seems kind of tragic, doesn't it? Yeah, they saw my three-year-old video and were like, let's nerf grubs. That is, that is just heartbreaking. I guess on official PvP I'll get four every time I touch it, so I'll just I'll just do it that way, I guess. That's so weird though. Cause it was nice to just like go over there with a with like a, a star metal pickaxe and get fifty. Cause it's not like these it's a good source of food. It's just it gives food and water and it's easy to get, so I use it like gruel before I have gruel. Like, nobody uses it for fish, let's be real. <laughs> this man right here, you know what it is? They probably just think eating grubs is gross. Like that bear grill scene where he bites on one and just pops. It's all juicy looking. They're like, alright, let's nerf this shit. You know what's crazy too? Is anyone that clicks this video? Like, after it's all done, they're like, oh boy, patch notes streaming, and we're just spending like 15 minutes trying to figure out how to farm grubs instead of going to the actual new content. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get over here, and we'll take a look. I found the place before uh, starting the stream. So, it's here. This is where the new content is. It's a fitting place for it. I didn't talk to anybody, and I don't know how it works yet, so I guess we'll we'll fiddle with it together. They've added a couple of NPCs here. Lovely weather for a hunt, eh? Bring me offerings harvested from the hunt to honor the Prince of Beasts, Jebel Zag. In return. I will give goods to aid your hunts. This guy seems kind of shifty. I trust him, though. I trust champions. him implicitly. Collect the trophies. So, the no thanks. I enjoy being free. poor. Jebel Sag is partial to teeth. Ah, oh, yes, the teeth. The teeth. Little ivory affirmations of our savage joy. Uh, bring me the teeth. Bring the offerings harvested from the hunt to That's honor all he says. the Prince of Beasts. He sells Jebel war paint, which is this is apparently what you need to wear when you In fight return, the bosses. I Otherwise, you have to be naked. To aid your hunts. Defeat Jebel and you can like unlock recipes. And champions. I, all right, Master of Hunts. He's just talking Stop right over me. What a rude stream. asshole! What are you raised in a barn? Damn, I'm having a live stream over here. So apparently, you get ambushed by creatures at night. And when you kill them, they drop these fangs. And you can trade these fangs in for recipes, which apparently it's got like skins and stuff you can build. And you can get these champion lures that you can use to summon bosses at special locations that I don't know where they quite are yet. Yeah, traders with more than one thing. It's all coming together. But he wasn't the only guy here. Let's talk to this lady. Bloody Tongue of Jebel Sag. What's your actual name? Her name's like Emily. You're not Bloody Tongue of Jebel Sag. Take it easy. Fringe? Am I right? I don't see what you enters the savage garden. Oh, she's got a lot of dialogue options. Everybody sit tight. Get your popcorn ready. What can you tell me? Before the before, Jebel Sag reigned over all the earth. 
over all she a ventriloquist she's not moving her mouth she's like beaming all it into my brain in play worshipped him and spoke the same language tell me even more now, separated by ten thousand tongues even now when the corruption of civilization peaks the god of all beasts walks among us sometimes as a man Sometimes as an animal, and you will know him by eyes that burn like yellow. Yellow eyes, is he a jaundice? Among us, <laughs> make a mental note so I can isolate that sound bite later. The smartest of animals who remember the beginning of all things still worship him, as do the men and women. Who still feel the pride Primal fever, fever. The quickened heart. The blood-soaked drum of the hunt. Animal and human. They are descendants of Jabel Sack's loins. Is it, is it Jabel? Like Jezebel? Jabel? The flesh remembers. The blood illuminates. What are you doing here, bloody tongue of Jebel Sack? Jalbel's oh my god, there's multiple dialogues. Sacrament. Oh jeez. I'm sitting on a wooden stool, by the way. Because my chair broke. It's not very comfortable. Gathering. It's not comfortable we for story time. To be his next chosen. Tell me more. Perhaps you have already faced the ferocity of Jabel Sag's chosen. Those most devoted to his hunt loaf in the darkness after the horizon has devoured the sun. Far from the blasphemy of civilization's walls. Slay these chosen for I the sleep. trophies that will buy you his favor. You can buy his favor? Damn. What a hussy. Jebel Saad confirmed Search for a hussy. The, lands for his champions three. the mammoth guarding a frozen temple. The rhino in the shadow of a sea vessel locked in the sands. And the panther on the shores to the east. Okay, I think we have to Each find those spots. A vicious paragon of its kind. Yeah, not much of a chosen. <laughs> you are my chosen. You will stand here and get murdered by naked people for loot. Seek a mark of Jabel's kind of a raw deal. Set a lure and draw a champion to you. To properly consecrate the combat, strip yourself of the obscenity of armor and adorn yourself. With a painted sigil. Tell, I'm, I'm vibing with the naked uh, the naked instructions here, though. That's definitely for the me. The master of the hunt abides in this encampment and can supply you with all you shall need in the holy hunt. <laughs> she's just there with his speech ready. I guess her other alternative is if she's one of her chosen, she gets killed. So I guess she's like, no, no, I'll be the secretary. I'll sit there and I'll, the I'll do the speech. Remembers. The blood illuminates. You have to be naked. It's like, ma'am, I was naked since before I logged in. I'm in my underwear right now, though. I'm not technically naked. I wish to leave the hunt. Can you opt out of it? That's so dumb. It's kind of like how you can opt out of the purge now. That's like, what, 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 what kind of weenies are playing this game? If you make me interact with this game one more time, I'm going to shit my pants and start screaming. Where's the off button? Like, come on. Just just play the damn game. I don't even want to click that. I'm not even going to click it, because I don't know if there's like a takes these maxis there. This scripture of Jabel Saab already resides in the meat of your mind. The meat of my the mind. Lord of all beasts, etched it into the minds of your ancestors' ancestors. Well, you couldn't always opt out of the old purge. The old purge was... Uh, Mandatory for the longest time, then they added that feature. You may awaken this knowledge by partaking of our sacrament. Eat the flesh of remembrance, and knowledge of our religion will blossom in your skull and rib cage. Blossom in my rib cage? It sounds the like a, a respiratory the issue. Illuminates. Welcome, Hunter. What are these called? Champion Lure. Okay. Uh, 
the fuck? There's like 12 of these. I don't know what these are all for. I guess we'll test it out. Uh, let's drop our shit and we'll... We'll spec into combat and we'll go see what these fights are like. You threw that got nerfed. Although to be fair, that one probably did need to be nerfed. That one was pretty, pretty, pretty overpowered. I would say. There's a couple good changes. They added a new siege weapon that we'll test out later. Kind of forget what was actually good for build. What's that call? It's fucking uh, soul, soul essence. That's right. Give me a moment. I'm I'm kidding up. Let's actually get a decent sword this time. I kind of forget which one's the, the good ones for one-handed sword. Your sure Telus isn't very good anymore, is it? Health damage 41! Oh my god! Absolute tragedy. Complete and utter tragedy. Belias, that's the one. I couldn't fucking remember what it was called. For the sake of doing this stream, I'll just disable loot drop on death. In case I get fucking demolished. Can I, can I drop? I can't drop it from my hotbar? Hello? Okay. We'll stay in god mode for now. What did she say? She said the ice temple, which is obviously the frost temple, and then she said the a landlocked boat, which I'm assuming is the black galleon, and then on the coast to the east, I'm assuming he's over there. So let's let's check over here. That's probably gonna be the easiest one to find. Any collaboration? No, I don't think I don't think many people would like to collab with me. <laughs> Especially since my entire my entire volcano series got demonetized like 17 times. I wasn't gonna do it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just like do like a, a super cut of that at some point and just splice out the memes that got got it demonetized and like redo some parts. Just release it as one big video. I don't know, YouTube never explained why. I've got like a hunch, because there were like some, some Spongebob memes, so I thought it was children's content. But every one of those videos got demonetized and pulled out of the algorithm, so they wouldn't... Oh, there it is. Okay. How do I... How do I do it? This is not the correct area. That's the correct area. Invalid building placement. Maybe it's the wrong key. Ah, oh, that could be it too. Let's just put all three down. And get on my hotbar. This item can't be moved? Alright, so that's not the right one. Okay, so that's a special one. Champion lure. That's probably the one, right? Okay, that's the one.
Oh, shit. Hold on, I'm overburdened. Okay. God and cloak. What? Hell? Hello? Am I seeing a million health on that health bar? I'm I'm assuming that's a mistake. I don't think that's supposed to have a million health on it. Let me just hit it. Yeah, that took no damage. Hold on. There was a war paint for this, wasn't there? Devil Sog Hunter, that's the one. Maybe maybe if I put this on, I'll do like extra damage. Oh yeah, that makes a huge difference. Okay, that makes sense. I was panicking at first. I was like, Jesus, I was getting flashbacks from killing Thunderfoot with a, a star metal sword. That's, that's a lot more doable than I was thinking at first. <laughs> I was like, I saw that health bar and shit my pants. I was like, hello? What's up? Welcome. We are live. I'm gonna get killed by this. We're okay. We're okay. Unconcerned. You know, I practiced fighting a lot of the bosses after they changed the, the, the lock-on. It's still pretty easy to kill most bosses without getting hit. Like, I think people are really... Actually, am I... Do I have god mode on? No, I don't. Okay. So I, I, I am just dodging properly. I mean, I'm sure you could lure the, the frost giants over, but they don't have the, the war paint, so they're not going to do any damage. Yeah, fight this thing with star metal? I would be at it for years. I'm just walking into it. Just setting myself up. He drops fangs in the brand of the mammoth. Let me just let me just see what you can harvest him for before I sprint away. I mean, it's demon blood. That could be big. I'm gonna have to check how much these lures actually cost, because that's not a bad source of uh, that's not a bad source of uh, demon blood at all. Okay. Now we need to find the other one. It says it's by... It's supposed to be a rhino. It's supposed to be over here. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the UI change. I didn't want to say it, but I'm not a big fan of it. It kind of... It just... I don't know. I don't like it. Let's let's turn the lights on here before we commit to finding the next guy. All right, so he's supposed to be. Oh my god, I don't have God on. I almost just jumped off and killed myself. God mode, speed me up. Oh, you can see it. The UI is just different, and you can see like the descriptions are. Do you have like a preview of the description? It's kind of just weird, isn't it? This one's gonna be annoying to find because it could it could be literally anywhere, couldn't it? Just says it's by this boat. Uh -huh. 
Bonzo buddy, thank you for the... You should refund that. That's a lot of money, my guy. 500 bucks? I only upload once a year, my guy. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate it. I spent all of my cash on the, uh, the the wedding setup. I literally have $5 in my bank account right now. $5.61. But you should charge back that back. That's a lot of money for somebody who uploads once a year. Although I do appreciate the support. <laughs> I have $5.63 and a maxed out credit card. Now I have 505 and still a maxed out credit card. Enough money for Taco Bell? I mean, is it though? Have you seen the prices at Taco Bell these days? Yeah, Urjo knows about it. Not anymore. Shit costs fucking. I was gonna like order takeout today, and I I I was I was gonna go to my usual spot that I haven't been to in like five months, and I sit down and I go to order like some tacos. It was almost thirty five dollars for like three tacos and and a, a, a side order of beans. And yes, I did get married. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I fooled a beautiful woman into into actually tying the knot. Yeah, you can get the bell. No, no taco. But thank you again for the donation. It's extremely generous, my man. I was gonna say I trust you for life, but then your name's Bonzo, buddy. <laughs> you know, I installed that on the family computer when I was a kid. Fucking got him. We didn't actually wind up uh, suffering any consequences for that, thankfully, but. Uh, I was one of the children that put that on the family PC. Our classic, uh, our Dell desktop with 30 gigabytes of hard drive space. Is anybody else seeing it? Like, I'm also watching the chat, so maybe I'm just, like, distracting myself, but... Surely it's nearby here, right? Like, it can't be on the boat. I feel like that would be... Oh my god, my frames, I'm sorry. I don't have this on my solid state, so the performance is going to dip when we're... I'm really hoping it's not actually on the boat. I guess I'll try the boat. Oh, there it fucking, there it is. We found it. Okay. So let's... Normal, god mode, exit creative... Eat some grubs for good luck. Drop all of this shit. Oh boy. Although rhinos are kind of hard to deal with. I do like that you have to be naked with the, the war paint. That's, I think that's a really cool feature. Although I think these bosses are a little too easy with the war paint. I think they were worried that the average... Pe Although, I see how much people complain about the bosses in this game on the forums and whatnot. And I'm like, alright, well maybe they're just like... Maybe they're just really afraid. Well, it's not required. But look at his health bar. He has a million health. If you don't have the war paint, you do normal damage to him. So you'll be fighting him for literally years. Yeah, I think that the damage... I think that needs to be changed a little bit. Because right now... Yeah, people still complain about the arena champion, and you can stun lock that one. It's like, what's the... what's the problem? And I'm just, I'm just checking. Nothing surprising besides maybe the gold stone. That's kind of unexpected. Always grinding. Did I hit a rock? Oh, that could have been it. Although we were in the middle of the river, so I'm pretty sure that came to him. I mean, if even if it's just demon blood, though, think about it. Like, that's a good source of demon blood. Like, if you go to the Black Keep, you've got the Black Yeti inside for demon blood and the mammoth you can kill. That's like 700 demon blood per Black Ice Trip. 
I'd say that's pretty decent. That's not terrible. All right, so now we have to find this other one, and this is probably going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, it does depend on how expensive the bait is. We're not getting a lot of the um the teeth from these fights. Rhino kidney stones? That would explain it. That's where the gold's coming from. I think after we fight all the bosses, we'll just set the, the time to night and we'll walk around and see if we get ambushed. We'll see what those actually look like. Aha! We found these so fast! That's, that's kind of lucky. Well, most war paints last forever, so I'm assuming you keep it until you die, right? Uh, it's right here on the beach. I did not even hit my fucking dodge button. Oh, that's a big cat. That's gonna be hard to dodge, actually. complain about the tracking, but you can still just, like, run to the left and dodge almost every hit from every enemy. I know I said that as I'm, I'm running to the right. He's setting up the here. Bam. Alright, so that, that wasn't so bad. I think those need to be made a lot harder, though. That's absolutely for sure. I think those are kind. Those are kind of a pushover for being uh, <laughs> Devil Zag's champions. The war paint only lasts four hours. Okay, I thought it lasted forever, but still, I mean, it's more than enough time to get things done. All right, let's go back. Well, apparently the final boss is supposed to be its own thing. So it's a new, a completely new exp uh, experience. Okay, game, really? Okay, so let me just, let's check the price of these lures before we move on. A lure is only 10 teeth, so yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think the difficulty should be increased. I mean, they should be a little healthier. But I think they should also have different attack patterns. Okay, so you can get some decorative stuff. A skull warhammer, feral claws, bestial regalia. I'm assuming that's like clothes. Bioluminescent mushroom. Hold on. Is that a building? Yeah, you can build... Hold on, let me see what these actually look like. Oh, these are the ones in the dungeons! You can, like, decorate your base with, like, the, the mushrooms that are, uh... All over the dungeon. Not that you can really see them. Oh, those are tiny. Alright, maybe those aren't worth it. I feel like that's just gonna lag out of base. <laughs> Alright, I take that one back. I don't know about that one. Alright, let me see. Bestial Regalia. Oh, you know what? That's pretty fucking dope. I got... Damn. That looks pretty fucking good for a naked dude. Naked... That's very Kronk, 100%. Alright, they... Alright, they won me over. I'm, I'm on board for that. Stats? Nothing. It just gives armor. Although you're technically not naked with that on. Check my drip. I mean, I could mix that with some stuff and make it look nice. 
Let's gobble up some grubs and we'll try to do this final boss. I think the stuff, the thing in the front is where you put these, um, these three things and then you can fight the, the actual boss. Actually, maybe this guy sells it. Let's, before we run off. So in exchange for the teeth, you can Welcome, get hunter. decorative items, the lures, the potion. I'm pretty sure that's what you use to fight the boss, isn't it? This item cannot be moved. Okay, I think I was supposed to trade those in. Okay, so this is definitely the final boss area. Let me just figure out how to do this first before we fight him. Because, I mean, I'll just spawn it in, obviously, but I want to make sure. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, today was just a random stream. Well, you know, I can, I can just spawn in the bait from the, the admin panel. I just want to see where I get it from for when we actually Lovely play. For a hunting. Because he sells the champion lure. We're hyena hunter. Two hundred fifty gnarled fangs. Hold on a sec. That seems like it might be a cool thing. Welcome, hunter. All right, give me whatever this is. Oh, it's a thrall. Okay, so you can get your own wear hyenas. That's kind of cool. I, I vibe with anything that's like... Oh, and this is the new behavior window. That's I actually like this. This is a lot more streamlined. Let's, uh, let's give him some human flesh and we'll just level him and see what he does. It disappeared. The man was hungry. He feasted immediately. Oh, oh no, 2,500 health for 250 fangs. Well, I guess that's a roleplay thing then. And he even got vitality perks. He got three vitality perks, two and a half thousand health. That is, that is just, that is just unfortunate. Get, get out of my sight. Get out of here. Just, just leave. <clears throat> Imagine you farm 250 fangs over the course of like a week and you get your own, your own werewolf and it just is dog shit. I mean, it could even be bugged. Let's be nice. It could be bugged. It could all be bugged. <laughs> you never really know. Welcome, so I think the rest of these are just, um, decorative stuff, right? Yeah, looks like it. Literally worse than a cannibal brute? Correct. Okay, so here's the grand champion lure. My, The chat is in the way. I think if I just put these in here, I'm assuming that's what I need, right? And I need a champion lure, which is what you can buy from this guy. Welcome, hunter. Yeah, it's got to be bugged. Cause zero stats just seems weird. Happy hunting. Welcome. Hunter. Hitting all the wrong buttons now. Yeah, it's just a regular champion lure. Okay. I'm just making sure that this is where you get it from before we continue on with our shenanigans. Did they change them from lagging and not attacking anything in a PvP server? I mean, we have to keep our requests... <laughs> we have to keep our requests uh, attainable. Welcome, Hunter. Shit called Potion of the Hunt. Oh. So I think we've got what we need. 
Let's give it a shot. <laughs> You're probably gonna have to request it another seven years. Right. Here we go. Oh, damn, he swole. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on a sec. I got him on, on the, the ankle. Got him with one of those ankle shots. Although it's not really fast enough to keep up. So you could just walk away. Okay. I thought he only hit once. I walked into it again. Oh, the grub save. Look at that grub save. The one health grub save always comes in ha in handy. Oh, he's got the... Okay, so he does multiple things. I thought I had his, his attacks down. So he can sometimes attack multiple times when he slaps. And I whiffed. What am I doing? I haven't played Conan in a while, boys. Let's not break my balls here. Look at those perfectly timed dodges, though, boys. Only been fighting him for two seconds. So that was not quite the, the well-timed dodge. Oh, I'm out of speed. No, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, he's angry. I got him in the nuts. He's angry. He's moving a lot now. He's like sliding around. Oh. Oh, he glows when he hits. Oh. That's cheating. I dodged you. So all of his attacks are AOE in the second phase. He went super big. He had his spinach. Did a full 180 on me. Yeah, it depends. I guess it depends on how much the poison actually hits for. It'd be nice if you could roll after getting knocked down and not be still stunned when you get up. Oh my lord, the grub saved me again, boys. The grub saved me twice in a row. The grub saved me again. Flee. 
Oh, I thought it was close enough. Oh, he holds that swing. It easy. I mean, he's almost dead. Oh shit! No, we did it. <laughs> we really, we we're by the skin of our teeth that time. Holy shit! He was doing the full combo on me. He's trying to like gorilla slam me while I was on the floor. Sit down, boy! Oh, he's sweet. He's got an accent. He was British. Ah, the dude's made of demon blood. If I had a kit on this, that would be like a thousand deep and blood. So that's not bad, I guess. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. And you do get a tablet of power, I guess. It seems kind of weird, though. Just demon blood? There wasn't anything in his inventory, right? Like, did I miss it? Maybe these spawn like different things. Tainted Grand Champion Lure and Melodorous. I think that's used for crafting something. Just Fangs? That's what I thought. The champion is preparing for his next hunt. Alright. Uh, the blood? Maybe. Yeah, new journey step, maybe? I mean, maybe. We unlock anything? What did, I, what did I get for that? Hmm. Well, let's, let's get out of here, and then we'll spawn him again, and just see if... You get to enjoy, you get, you get to, you take pleasure in the fact that you did a good job. That's what you get. I mean, it is fun. It's a decent, that's a good fight. They've gotten better at the, the boss fights compared to how they used to be. Oh, I didn't spawn more potions. Oh god, that'd be real quick. Oh my god, he seems angry this time. He's got more health, too. Okay, hold calm, calm, calm it down, big man, alright? We're, we're putting clothes on. Hardly dressed without my grubs. This, take this off. He's got more health and he talked more this time. Oh, I gotta crack my neck. Chair fucking stinks. Now, welcome to the streams, everybody. Everybody's filtering in. We're gonna wait for him to attack and then we'll turn our god up. We'll try this again. Oh my lord, that man followed me all the way around. Yeah, 
that one's AOE. I was wondering how they hit me the first time. Let's let's back it up and heal. I whiffed. It's a lot easier once you know the attack pattern. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> We're just dodging everything. Of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to start getting slapped around. Naturally. Naturally. Okay, so right arm up, he does the swipe. Left arm back, he does the slam. And the swipe lets you hit him. Until he gets angry. Until he gets upset. Oh, he gets bigger when he's mad. Alright. So he's kind of like the arena champion. Or, yeah, that's the arena champion. No, it's the war maker's champion. You can't you can't dodge the long ways or else it'll be slapping you. But look at me dodge all those anyways. <laughs> what can you do against a naked man? Okay, so you do have to roll through the slam at least. Is there a sandstorm that I'm seeing in here? Is that what I'm seeing? I walked into that. I knew it was the up arm swipe, and then I fucking rolled into his legs anyways. That's a very large hitbox. It's a very large hitbox. I'm trying to like learn the move set. Prime a little easier. Like, it's not super difficult. We got him on the first try with the regular lure. We're going to see how we can do against this. Yeah, I'm hearing the sandstorm. At least it's not affecting me. That would be really dumb. Because the, the Dagon dungeon's still like that. Not so, that's it. Once you know the moveset, that's pretty easy. Corrupted Savage Horn expires in 24 hours. Hmm. I wonder what that's for. You've led me a merry dance. Oh, there's lore information here. That's an ominous thing to say. He's gonna eat me? Listen, listen to this man. What an odd thing to say. Although the, the sandstorm rolling in makes this whole thing seem more ominous. Yeah, it's just demon blood, but this... It has to be used for something, right? Hmm. I bet it gives you more demon blood. You want to put it in a fluid press and we'll find out? <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, it doesn't squish. Do I need the Flesh of Remembrance? Maybe I have to have, like, the, uh... blow into it. It does look like a horn. Doesn't look like there's anything new there. It's not a placeable, because you can't put it on your hotbar. So it has to be used for something, right? Oh, you know what? There's this thing over here. Is this where you put it? Totem of Jebel Sag? Like, this does something. I feel like I'm missing recipes, though. Come. Come to me. You have nothing to fear of me. Hmm. I am simply Lord How do I use this? I, my return to the misty lands. I, I feel like I'm missing a recipe. Like, I was supposed to unlock a recipe while I was in there. grinder maybe I don't think it's something that breaks down because there's a bench over there that I don't know what to do with one of the new items uh, maybe Lovely weather for a hunting let's just spawn in a fucking million I did drink from the pool it just uh, made Welcome. me uh, lose heat. It cooled me off. It was just regular water is what I should say. Maybe these... Maybe these decorations require them. Well, that one doesn't, but let's see how it looks. Oh, that's a placeholder. That's the Zath statue. Sup, dude? Welcome to the stream. I know, look at all these building dams. I don't even remember what the other ones were. Trophies? What the fuck was it? I'm sure it was statues, wasn't it? And there's like a throne seating. Throne of Jebel Saad. That just takes bricks. Although that looks pretty cool. I'll take that. Yeah, I did the Flesh of Remembrance and I did... Yeah, let's try the, the, the altar again. I don't think it does anything. It's currently impossible to hold or use in its current state. No, it's gotta do something. It only lasts for 24 hours. Another this lady doesn't sell anything. Enters the savage guard. Welcome, hunter. This guy doesn't sell anything. This is the new Savage Skull, although I think that's a placeholder, but... Do you play the horn with any emotes? I don't think so. Yeah, but like, how do you purify it? Can you put it in a freezer? That's good to know. I'm assuming, right? I mean, it works for everything else. Oh, it can't go in a fridge. Damn. Hmm. I mean, it's got to be used for something, right? 24 hours, it becomes a hatchling? I, I don't know. That doesn't seem like it's what it's for. 
It's a musical instrument. Someone modified it into a musical instrument, able to play an otherworldly sound. It is currently impossible to hold or use in its current state. Hmm. Yeah, I'll see if it can be put into a compost bin. I can't go in there either. Instruments. I don't see anything. There's a new altar at the PVE raid base. Okay. Rest in peace, my computer. Oh, yeah. Mechamosis might fucking know. That guy's been around. That guy knows a thing or two. It's under the base, under the castle. Okay. I'm gonna get in there, and he's gonna be like, "Just kidding." All right, everybody. I apologize for my uh, my frame rate as I walk in here. Go to the right of the main entrance. Or do you mean like outside? Like the actual main gate. Outside. To the right of the main gate. I mean in the perimeter wall? Oh, this door here. I got you. Aha! Excuse my frame rate. Holy fuck. <laughs> Let's get a nice ominous light for this. Ooh. Spooky. Also, I don't know if I would build a castle on top of an, an open cave like this. That's probably terrible for the foundations. Gonna fall apart. I know it's over there. I'm just trying to. I want to see what's in what's in here. Good catch with the the cave under here. Use this? Is this not interactable? That's a very moist looking liver or something. Well, no, you see, you can't equip it, is the thing. I can't move it out of my inventory, so I can't. Uh... We have to be out of creative mode. Oh, they used that wind sound effect that was over by the unnamed city. I see you, I see you. Uh, I don't get an option to place it here. the wear child. I don't know what that is. Obviously, I can't put a, a hyena here. Maybe I have to bring it with me?
Maybe at night? Oh, that's a good idea. Let's let's set the... Uh... Maybe we have to be under the full moon. Let's get outside so we can actually see what the time is. Well, the horn, it, it can't be equipped or, or used for anything. Does it have to expire before you can use it? I feel like it just disappears after it expires, though. And plus, that's a 24-hour timer. We're going to be here a while if that's the case. <laughs> Talk about giving you, taking your popcorn. Well, no, you can't use the essence of rot because you can't put it in the, the box, the, the decay box. I gotta mute something real quick. Yeah, you gotta be able to like purify it, but but how? And what is this brand of the wear child? What is that for? Throw it on a dancer. I don't I don't know if a dancer can I don't know what you can do with the dancer. But I'll I'll spawn one and just see. The light needs to hit the stone, but it kind of, it wasn't really moving is the thing. Hello? Oh, I've been ambushed. That was the ambush. I was like, hello? <laughs> Drops a hunter's satchel. Which gives you stuff. And a map. Which, this is just the camp that we're at. Okay, so that's the ambush. You can occasionally just get attacked by werewolves. And they give you an option to tab out of that. You can tap out of the hunt if you're afraid of getting hit by a single werewolf every so often. Alright, let's give it to the werewolf. Let's see. Oh, he fucking ate it! Spit it out! Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> Drop it. Drop it. You fucking ate it. God, it's like when your dog like swallows a piece of glass because it's too fucking stupid. God damn. Why are you like this? Like a horn. Too corrupted to be handled. It's like... Hello? Dude just swallowed uranium. And then nothing happened. <laughs> Speaking of fucking illness. Corrupted Savage Horn. Yeah, let's take it to Mechamosis. Let's see what he has to say about this. No, you can't consume it. I mean, the werewolf ate it because I think that guy's bugged. Everything I put in his inventory disappears. And we're, I'm relying on Mechamosis to help us out because he's he's the guy who knows sorcery, so he can <coughs> figure it out. Excuse my coughing. I guess I'd have been traveling a lot. Oh yeah, let me see if there's a purified version. Uh, nothing there. Savage. There is a regular savage horn. So you can cleanse it. It's a pet item. Oh, now I can equip it. Oh, and it gives you the werebear. All right. So somehow you can cleanse it. And then you can get a bear. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, I can't interact with him. Oh, yes, I can. I just had the wrong thing. 
Damn, you get your own bear. His stats are kind of bad, though. You can put a lure in the cave under the raid? Okay. So that's its own boss fight. Alright, you... Okay, I'm trying to get him to fucking... His hitbox is very weird. So you can put a lure... But that's bad, though, because I'm going to have to go under that laggy-ass castle and do a boss fight. That's going to be tragic. Where was that door? It's like right here, wasn't it? Perimeter wall. Main door. Oh, that makes sense. This does look like one of those lure things. There was another lure. Grand champion, maybe? Is this a regular champion lure? Oh no, it's just a regular one. Drop all of this. Oh, I'm not even in God. Oh, I'm in Creator, that's why. Oh my god, I'm bleeding. No, that's my one weakness! tragedy. The grubs won't save me. I'm trying to bait out his attack and he's like lagging so he won't do it. It's the same attack pattern as the um, the skeleton monstrosities. So as long as you're patient, you're okay. But they lunge forward a little bit too far, so it's hard to like follow up. Now they put a new boss in the lackiest spot on the map. The thing is, I don't know what this one's for, because like the other three have a thing you can grab. I'm eating. Ugh, tragedy. That was such a delayed dodge, you see that? That old man reaction time. I can probably just face tank him. That's a bad idea, actually. Excuse me, I'll get myself killed. I thought he was close enough. <laughs> okay, so he gives ancient blood. Does that go in the bowl? Can I drink it? Hmm. Doesn't do anything to the horn. All right, let's go back to the, the altar over there. I'm pretty sure if we just combine these two, it'll get cleared, right? <laughs> oh, I did nothing. <laughs> what do I do? I didn't even get the wear hyena thing.
Well, you get the. I'm assuming these are new drops from the. Uh, maybe we have to go to the Jebelsad dungeon. Did you harvest the guy? I didn't. Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh my god, excuse me. And the lag begins anew. It's probably gonna be demon blood, but let's let's get in there and actually just make sure. Nope, the wild card, it's hyena pelts. Let's let's see if we can just like maybe there's something in this dungeon now that's new. Pretty sure this is the way. This goes down here. Up and around. This guy doesn't even seem to drop that thing, though. There's clearly something we're missing here. Let's see, will I drop all this shit? Oh, so you, you literally just have to wait 24 hours? That is unfortunate. And you can't, like, store it anywhere, so I guess you have to hold it for that whole time. It is kind of cool to have the creature, though. But then what are these for? Can you trade these in? I'm assuming you could sell those, right? I didn't get a new chair. My old one did break, though. It finally gave out. You might be able to put it in a chest. Let's. We'll see once I get out of here. Yeah, it's so corrupted you can't even look at it. But if you put it in the fridge for a couple hours, it'll be fine. So to get the bear, you have to kill the three new bosses around the map. It's in an earlier part of the stream. Combine their components, go to the boss area, buy a potion from that guy, and then you can summon the uh, the bear, kill him, get the horn. Although I don't know how you get the corrupted lure. Where did the corrupted lure come from? Because we spawned that one in to see what it did. You combine this with a regular lure? Ancient blood with a regular lure. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, but I don't see it in here. Oh, you mean a regular lure? Like an actual, like, regular, regular lure? Hmm. Hmm. Get in there. Glued it, and maybe it's because I'm in creative. Oh man, glue together. Well, the other one's just crafted uh, up. Up here. Oh, 
Although it's occurring to me now that those recipes were missing too. Maybe something got fucked up here. It could it could be that I bugged something. So there's the Grand Champion lure. That's made from those. Got stuck. <laughs> Poke him tails with us. Do something. Huh. Hmm. I guess maybe I just bugged it, because apparently someone in the chat said uh, an Ebriel was able to make it work from that bench. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we, we saw the content for that. I, th I think it's a cool addition. Like, maybe not super meta for PvP, but... <sighs> Let me put my feet up here. Let's talk to... Let's see if there's anything new here. Nothing. Nothing. These guys have nothing. Oh, I did level up the bear. It had kind of garbage stats. I don't know if that's final. For something that's kind of annoying to get. He, he only had like 4,000 health. You can drop it, though. That's kind of weird. Well, we'll spawn another one so you can see what it is. It's your own wear bear. You really have to get straight in its balls to get, to get the menu to show up, though. You really gotta just gobble it. Five thousand health. Not not stupendous. Not stupendous. For for how and and look at that. Look at all like all straight vitality perks. No health. Although all zero stats again, it could just be bugged. That's probably not final. Let's uh, let's take him on a on a trip, and we'll see if he keeps any of the special attacks from the boss fight. Just a place. Alert. Yeah, I, I assumed it's probably just a place because the other one was the same way. It has zero percent growth chance. Yeah, it's probably not final. I just want to see what he can do. Let's see if he can. See if he can kill something. Got him on some Darfari. So chances of death should be slim. Hit him. Okay, that's definitely not final. Level 20 dealing uh, 11 damage per hit. Although he does a lot of uh, AoE, a lot of stunning. I mean, if he can do damage, this could be a cool pet to have. It'll still probably not be very useful for uh, PvP, but, you know. <laughs> He's having some trouble. <laughs> it's, uh, it's clearly not final. This is These are not final numbers, I'm assuming. Let's, let's get these people off me. Clearly a, a, a placeholder. Yeah, if you had like a bunch of them, they could just keep juggling. Because people used to do that with rock noses, is they'd have a bunch of rock noses in a room, and you just get stun locked until you died. You could probably do that with these too, and if they have any any damage when they're fully released, they might be good. But let's let's pivot. Let's pivot and let's see what this ballista looks like. Now that we've done that for several what, what are we at let me let me check the stream how long have we been at this just kidding i closed the tab where it was open i guess i'll just wing it two hours we've been at it for two hours damn 
Alista. Can you call the siege? What? The foundation. That's right. God damn. It's been. Failed a spawning siege foundation. Why does that look so different on the menu? I don't remember it looking that way. Here's the ballista. It's the 24 hour stream. We're waiting on the horn, boys. Oh, damn. It just put me right in it. How do I get out of it? Okay. Excuse the coughing. I was locked in a tube with an elderly sick man who sneezed on me all day. Uh, no, you, you get like an aim cone... And then I think to to move it, you still have to get out of it to push it. Okay, so you have bolts and you have balls. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's get the the siege damage on, and we'll see if. Uh, See if it actually damages structures. We'll do we'll do black ice and we'll just we'll just see what the actual damage is first. It seems like it would be pretty accurate to use, right? So you could probably just like, if you want to just target down doors with this, as opposed to a trebuchet, that would be actually super, super cool. How do I, how do I load the ammo? How do I do this? I can't equip it or put it on my hotbar, so I have to be able to, like... Okay, so you load it in the front. Let's try... The balls are the ones that deal damage to structures, I'm assuming. Well, it's not charged right now. Where's the... Don't you turn this thing to charge it, right? On the side? You, like, pull this back? We're learning, boys. We're learning. Uh, yes, you can craft them there. So you craft them in the ballista. Current charge amount, 0%. Hold the mouse 1. No, that... Okay, it's... You hold right-click. Okay. Okay. I'm imagining an old Craig video where he traps somebody and just slowly charges it up while they're in the tube. All right, let's see what that did. That was a fully charged star metal ball. Thank you, Hussein. We're making big gains. Damn! What was that? 26,000 damage with one of those? How much do those cost? Star metal ore? It doesn't even... It just costs star metal ore? Oh my god, that's fucking busted. When you mine star metal, you come home with fucking 30,000 ore. Although, to be fair, there's no splash damage. So I guess this will be... Uh, 
And that's pretty effective for what it is. Although I guess I don't really have a problem with more raid techniques. I mean, raiding's already pretty fucking busted, so it's not like you can break raiding. It's already pretty broken. Yeah, that is... Sp your aim has to be perfect to get value. Yeah, it's a door opener for sure. This is like the player's version of a battering ram. Yeah, five, five people shooting. That's the thing. You set up a gigantic raid camp and just demolish a base. Let's see what the range is like, though. Let me move this over here. On the bright side, that's kind of nice, because, like, early game, you can just go get some star metal, set up a ballista, and start breaking shit. Kind of like how trebuchets used to be back in the day. Well, the arrows, from what I understand, they kill players and, like, people and creatures and gods. That's a pretty good range. That went over the... That went over this uh, deer over here. That was a pretty decent shot. Yeah, that's really not bad. Like, it's not amazing range. Like, it's, it's, it's not as much range as a trebuchet. But that's still pretty effective. Like, that's really not bad. I'm going to just test the, the, the arrow damage just to, uh, just to see out of curiosity. Can it kill a world boss? Now that's a good test. Yeah, for the price of the ammo, that's dirt fucking cheap. Let me just check the, the structure damage first. Hit one down here. Yeah, a lot less damage. But I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be better at killing, like, bosses. Not bosses, but gods. It, it on In the patch notes, and it was explained to me that this is supposed to kill gods. As opposed to throwing bombs at them. So, let me, uh... Let me reset it. I'll spawn a, a boss over there and I'll just hit it and see what it does. Okay. What's a good... That'll be easy to hit. No, he's walking. Just sit still. Where does he go? He doesn't want to get shot. Bam. Oh my god. That did like 5,000 damage. That is pretty fucking solid, actually. You could probably farm world bosses with that. Take it back. Okay, so two bolts to kill an avatar. That makes sense. At full charge. But that's not bad. That is not a bad... Uh... Wow, he heals fast. You could set up a little farm. I could try the ball on him. Let me see. Let me see if I can hit him before he jogs away. It does feel satisfying to lose. Oh yeah, that doesn't do much, as much damage. But I mean, they're still pretty cheap, though, is the thing. Like, those are relatively cheap bolts. The balls and the and the arrows. I mean, that's that's really decent. Who turned off the lights? Oh, that's right. We did the, uh, we were testing that werewolf thing. Elephant and rhino bosses? I think so, too. I think I need to test it on Thunderfoot. Excuse my frame rate. I'm still playing on a toaster. There he is.
Excuse me, it's all it's all coming together. Bam. Alright. There he is, there's Kankles. I'm about to get payback for the PTSD of that 30 minute boss fight when I was doing the challenge run. If he would sit still, the man knows it's coming. Right in the anus, where it belongs. Oh, he moved. I wanted to... No, he's dodging me. All right, hold on. You're getting shot one way or another, my guy. It's a lot less damage to an armored target. That's all, That was only a thousand damage. A little bit less, actually, but still relatively decent damage. Considering a, an attack for my sword is like 50. Try the ball. I mean, uh, maybe. Dry head. He's walking right into it, but oh, he faked me out. He's trolling me. I mean, I think that would be a one shot kill for a player either way, though. So that's still valuable. It's about the same. So if for high armor targets, Bolt and balls are about the same. Considering how cheap the, the balls are, I mean... What are those bolts cost again? Wood, star metal bar, those are actually more expensive, I run. Actually, kind of not really. You just have to smelt the star metal first. <laughs> how to make hardened brick. In interact with it. All right, so this takes stone. Just takes stone, right? Okay, let's let's test the stone damage. Where was I doing that over here? Yeah, that's the thing, because the, the balls are very cost effective for what they are. Let's just see what, like, the absolute cheapest possible ammunition can do. Although, the fact that the star metal balls, they, they only take a star metal ore, that's, that's unbelievably cheap as it is. So I shouldn't complain, but, like, if you want to go, like, full poverty raid and just set up stone balls... <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm hitting one that I haven't hit already. We'll aim for this second one. The poverty run. That's still 10,000 damage. That's as much as a bomb. For 50 stone. Although, granted, you have to set this whole thing up and have a line of sight on it, and there's no splash, so. But if you set this up and you can just, like, tunnel through somebody's doors, I mean, it's not bad. The Star Metal one was only, what, 26,000? So for the price of three, three stones, which is, like, 150 rocks, which is, you know, with an, up, an unupgraded pick, the harvesting rates are on basic, so, you know. You know what I mean. No, the the range is worse than a trebuchet. Oh yeah, what does it cost? That's a good good question. Oh my god, I'm opening all the wrong menus. Crafting carpentry.
Do you still make the siege stuff in the carpenter's bench? I haven't played this game in a hot fucking minute. Oh, it's crafted at a, at a siege base. Okay. So hold on. So you do this. Siege weapon base. Am I retarded? I kind of forget how this works. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I forget how all of this works. Is it, is it just up too high? Is that the problem? Okay, it was up too high. I don't see the recipe. Didn't I, uh... Didn't I just unlock it? Maybe maybe it's a work in progress. Maybe it's coming around. Oh, exit creative. Oh, that's right. Thank you. I keep forgetting about these things. Shaped wood, iron, and twine. So for shaped wood, iron, and twine, and then a bunch of rocks, you could tunnel through somebody's door tunnel for dirt cheap. I guess you'll just have to get in the habit of, like, uh... Although I guess that means offline raids are, like, free, then. Because you could just poke a hole in someone's base for free. Like, there's no splash, but it's not that hard to just poke a tunnel. And if you got all day, right... Hmm. Like, at least trebuchets had the, the awkward arc to them, so you kind of have to, like, spend resources to tunnel through a base. These are, like, laser pointers. That's kind of worrisome. But I guess it's, it, like, it's, it would be nice to encourage people to get into PvP, but I think there's a limit to... Although, let's see how long it takes for that to craft, because I think if you have to wind up crafting a, a billion stone orbs, it might take you all night. It's not that long. I don't know how I feel about that. I like that it, it's like an alternative to bombing gods. But the, the ammo is really cheap for what it is, and it's accurate, and it's fast to craft. Yeah, that's the thing. You could like bring the stuff for a ballista and then farm the ammo as you're shooting it for the most part. Like, I'm just wondering how you would build a base to, to deal with this. You'd, you'd have to be online, I guess. And you have to find a way to break this. Because I feel like I'm, I'm imagining a scenario where like a 10-man clan walks up to my base with ballistas and just like pummels it down with rocks. And I just can't really do anything about it. I mean, you could build a counter, like a counter ballista, but I mean, how realistic is it to keep building that if you're outnumbered, right? Like, imagining the worst-case scenario, I think I'll just be, like, squatting in my rat's nest and they'll just... pummel the base down. <laughs> no, they got rid of the god bubble a long time ago. I mean, it would work against trebuchets, too, but... That's true. I mean, but the, at least, at the, at the very least, if it's a 10-man, they have to, like, spend the bombs. But if they can just use rocks, they can just take their time and pick your base apart. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, like, if you have a base that's designed to waste their time, you can at least milk resources out of them. Like here, if I have, like, loot hidden under a foundation, for example, it wouldn't cost them anything to explore that. You know what I mean? I mean, they've only got 10,000 health, so I guess, I guess one bomb would break it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, because it's not, it's not exactly like bases were super stable before. 
But 10,000 10, damage for 50 stone? It just seems a little lopsided. It's true, there's no splash damage, so it would be tedious. I guess you just have to, like, stack building pieces to make it as annoying as possible. Because the thing is, star metal, you get so much of it when you mine star metal ore. Like, if you go up there and you get a couple nodes, you come back with, like, two or three thousand. And those orbs are only, like, what, twenty? Twenty... Yeah, 20 star metal ore. Hmm. I mean, I won't complain, because I'll just use it. I'll live that nomad life, like you are saying. Like Drake's... Or not Drake, but uh, fucking scroll down. Like Mad Santa was saying. <laughs> right next to Drake. I looked right past it. So, you know, I'll just live out of a tent and use these, I guess. Terrorize larger clans. Just a shame, because it means that it's it's even harder for me to have a, uh, a normal base. Not that it was super viable before anyways, though. But that's not too bad. That's not the end of the world. I do like it. Like, I like that it's a, that it's a viable method for raiding. Like, I'll use that and the other stuff to get to, like, an early start, possibly. Use it to bust down vaults. So we kind of went through just about everything. We fought the bosses. We did that content. We got ambushed. We did the hunts. Actually, no, there's something we didn't do. Because we had the Sacred Horn, and we know how that works now. What was with the blood? Ancient blood. What is that for? Material. I wouldn't even know where to look, though. <laughs> we figured everything else out, though, so I really can't complain. We made progress. Like, we did all of this content. Yeah, that must be used to corrupt the lure, right? Oh, there's Tainted, and then there's a, a, what is it, Malodorous? What is this one used for? Oh, so you have to wait for this, and then it crafts into the, the Corrupted one. Okay, I get it. So 24 hours to wait for this to craft. And it turns into this, and then you can fight the tainted guy to get the horn, which lets you summon the thing. Okay. So we're all we're all on the same page here. We figured it out. Okay. It all makes sense. So let's let's take a look at the patch notes. We'll put some music on while we do some thinking. What else, what else was there to see? It's a spike trap. It's, it's, I think it's the same spike traps that you get at the, uh, that you can find at the, um, you know, they're like layered around the map at certain po uh, places, like the, uh, that one camp on Sid. Oh, Sipta, that's what we meant to look for. There's dest uh, destructible camps on Sipta now, isn't there? Let's go take a look, boys. How much does each item increase my server ping? Well, those mushrooms. <laughs> if people are stacking them, the mushrooms will do it. I'm surprised my save games are still here. Well, let's switch back to of the game stream. I 
more sea stuff i agree we need more fish people more, more fish related content now that they've nerfed my grubs the unfortunate grub grind Again, I have to apologize. This game is not on my solid states. <laughs> the 50 minute loading times, that is because it is on an external drive attached with a very old USB cord. I have to save my, uh, my disk space. I guess we'll just go with the default. Let's not waste time. Beautiful name. There's one by New Londor and then one by Zakatl, right? If I remember right, let me check the patch notes. Zakatl and New Luxor. Okay, I was right. I think the new uh, the new patch will probably bring in a lot of people. And I mean, this game seems to be like eternal. It always seems to have a player base. It's not always super healthy, but there's always people around. I know a lot of people are playing Pal World right now. I tried that with my fiance, and I gotta be honest with you, I don't. My fiance, we're married now, wife. She would kill me. She would strangle me if she heard that. It's like, huh? Beyonce? She'd, she'd grab my throat and you'd never hear from me again. <laughs> but we tried Palaword. I gotta be honest with you, boys. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand what the hype is. Although I've never liked Pokemon games, man. I, just, I don't understand. Alright, so you got a little camp here. Oh, it's like an undead camp. These guys didn't make it. Survival Slop, yeah. It's fucking, like, I don't understand. There's nothing to do in that fucking game. There are people who are like, bro, Conan can't compare to Palworld. Like, dude, build a fucking build a base on a slope in that game and come back to me. Tell me what your experience is like. The building system in that game is a fucking nightmare, and there's no content. It's just the the weirdos who are obsessed with with monster taming games love it, and that's it. And there's just nothing to do. Each read like the only way you can level is by catching ten of every Pokemon. And it takes you seventy years to do it. And then you get to the next area and just do it again. Yeah, you can catch people. It's like, dude, I've been catching people in Conan for fucking nine years. Like I've got a I've had a very sketchy relationship with Conan Exiles, but I'm just saying. I don't think it compares. Hellward's kinda poop. I don't understand. I do like this, but this is a cozy base, but I have a fetish for tier two. Yeah, there's no end game, there's no PvP, the building sucks. But everybody's shitting their pants because you can have your, your pals mine rocks for you. Like, is that really all you need? Is that all it takes to have a, a hit game these days? Is that how low the standards are? It's like Conan's had slavery since the, the day it came out. Yeah, it's a. Although I've I've already seen that the, the the player counts are dropping like crazy. So, yeah, it's better than what Game Freak makes. But so is any. I think anybody could make a better game than Game Freak. But because Pokemon fans are so whipped, they just buy up that slop every time it comes out. They buy up the slop every time it comes out. And now that like a mediocre, like bare bones game was released. They're gonna shit their pants over it, but it's like comparatively, it's still really bad, though. Let's see what he drops. I actually prefer this base to the one on the Exile Lands. This is a very cozy base, but undead, and I think these chests are gonna be a good, a good source of the uh, the Maelstrom energy. Let's see if we can find any like purple ones in here. This is cozy. 
I can't be the only one with a fetish for tier two, man. Insulated wood just looks so fucking nice. Like, I would live in one of these in real life without even thinking about it. Yeah, Pell World is a, it's a quadruple A game. It has no content. And then people will come back and be like, but, but, but it's early access. It's like, I didn't say it wasn't early access. I'm just saying, what's there right now is, is nothing. Like, I don't see what I'm supposed to love about it yet. Like, I'll come talk to you when the game's got something to do. But the, the way it is right now is fucking just, it's just, I don't get it. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. I, my, I do my cores in tier two as well. It just looks nice. Like, this is, like, if you sit here, let me set my graphics up. This will probably be a mistake. Let's put a few distance on low. Oh, yeah, look at that. 45 frames per second, but isn't that cozy? Isn't that nice? It just feels nice. Like, I would lay on this carpet and, like, read a book. You know what I mean? Oh, let's get those graphics down. I, I am on a toaster. Kronk is on a toaster. I am live again. I'm back. I was gone. I was busy getting married, but now I'm back and I can be a, a dweeb. Let's take a look outside. See, that's a nice looking base. I like. I vastly prefer that to the one of the Exile Lands. That's a good. They did a good job with this one. Ugh. Oh, it's Crimson Lotus. I fell for it. <laughs> Damn. They put that in there just to fool people like me. And thank you, thank you. The big marriage game. So let's take a look at the stuff around the camp here, too. Because it seems like there's other stuff here. Let's not have the same jazz song loop forever, though. That's going to get that's gonna get a little greedy. I'm going to have to like set up like a radio or something. So I have tunes to play. I mean, the loot seems nice, the camp looks nice, and it's not nearly as laggy as the one on, on Exile Lands. I'll take it. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> you know? Considering my frame rate drop on Exile Lands, I'll, I'll take this one any day. I wonder if there's any battering rams. I haven't seen any yet. No, I, I don't even have much to say about Pal Worlds other than the fact that I just don't like it. I, I don't understand the appeal. I set the experience gain up to the max and it still felt like a grind going to every new area and just catching 10 of each pal. Like if you were, if you're like a juvenile, if you're like a child and the, the sight of Pokemon slaving away on a, an assault mine is enough to entertain you for hundreds of hours, then so be it. But I just don't understand. Vids on the second channel eventually, yes. Uh, I had, I've been gone the last like four or five months, so I couldn't make content. What would you change about Pal World? I would delete it because I don't like monster taming games. <laughs> I'm biased. It's ne it's never going to be my kind of game. It's the same reason I don't play Ark. Like the 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 idea of like catching creatures and breeding them for stats. It's like I'm I'm greasy enough as it is. I don't need to add that to my routine. I gen ah, there's the dragon powder. All right, so there's good loot in these. Big. That's fucking beautiful. Dragon powder, beautiful base, much more more manageable. It's not lanky as fuck. That's big. I will take that any day. Okay, let's check out the other camp. I think it's over here somewhere. Like, if you wanted to make Pal World in a decent game, like, for me, you would have to overhaul the building. Like, just copy Conan's. Like, Conan figured it out. Like, the way they have it right now is really stupid. I think their their raid mechanic is very, very... Bi Although, I shouldn't be mean, because, like, what if they have a, a budget of $10,000? So it's not like they blew millions of dollars on it. They, they, had a, they made a budget game. So I won't break their balls on it, but it just needs, just needs more. It needs more time in the oven.
But honestly, even if it was like a phenomenal game, I just don't like the idea of monster taming. It doesn't do anything for me. Well, they figured out the building. I'm not saying like everything is, is perfect in Conan, but the building is smooth. You have to admit, the building system in this game is pretty fucking smooth. Like, what, what survival game has better building than Conan? That's what I would have to ask. Like, out of all the ones I've played, Conan's is probably the, the easiest to handle, the most intuitive. I mean, Rust is pretty okay, too, but it's it's kind of wonky. Like, it's not bad. But I, I definitely prefer Conan's. Like, having to start with Twig and then upgrade it. And it's very restrictive on where you can put stuff. Like you can do the pixel gaps and whatnot with very precise movements, but generally speaking, it's not as it's not as uh, it's not as forgiving as Conan's building system. Yeah, with the hammer, it's like I'm just saying this is. Oh, it's an event. It's like excuse me, I just fucking hear a noise. Well, yeah, I mean, I, we're not talking about aesthetics. I think we're talking about mechanics. Like in terms of like how easy it is to use the building. Like, Rust isn't bad, but Conan is, is much, much smoother. It's one of those things that, they, that they've improved over the years that's, like, objectively a good change. I haven't played in Shrouded yet, so, I mean, maybe that one is really good. Where is this NPC settlement? Is it in Sakatal, or is it, like, outside of it? Oh, I heard it. Something clicked. Is that it? Aha! And this one's tier three. Hi, Weed. You've been compelled. I wouldn't mind a Conan too. Like built from the ground up to be a lot more stable. Honestly, I think I think this is the way they should have done it with the NPC camps. I know they probably wanted a big one for the big reveal, but these tinier camps are so much more manageable. They look nicer, they're easier to load. I don't get the frame rate drops. It's just like a fun little bit of content to do instead of a a gigantic siege. Yeah, some people say the engine needs to be upgraded. I don't know a fucking I don't know a fucking thing about game development, so <laughs> what do I know? I mean, I feel like if you put to make it on a new engine, you'd have to like you'd have to completely remake the game, wouldn't you? You have to start over from scratch and build completely new code. Like I don't think you could even salvage anything from this. You'd have to start over. Which I mean, I think it would be worth it because this game's pretty good. And like if you just took this concept of course I'm saying it's good now wait till my next playthrough and I'm like drowning in hackers and my, my attitude changes <laughs> I have a very love-hate relationship with this I'm actually believe it or not I'm actually in like my next playthrough will not have a Cletus skit because I actually want to play Conan right now I've been dealing with my, my satanic mother-in-law for three months and they tell you, stick with the evil you know, right? I've been craving a Conan run. It's like, I'd, I would rather be drowning in hackers than dealing with this insane woman. Why is it when I, when I open a door, like, these dudes, like, chase me? <laughs> like... They're like following me. They're like wondering what I'm doing to their base. Mother-in-law's watching. I don't think she understands how to fucking use a computer. The woman's like a gremlin. She has to ask for help to use her phone to send like basic texts. She doesn't understand how Facebook works. I think I'm safe. I don't think she knows how live streams work. How do you mean by the refinement part of that? Do I think Dune will be good? I mean, maybe. If they t if they take if they take all the lessons they learned from developing Conan, 
and it, and it really gets implemented well into Dune, then it might be. Oh, that's true. They could just be charging, right? Oh, crafting? Yeah, I mean, crafting, I think, is... <laughs> I like the old system. Building, I mean, specifically, like, using the construction hammer. Specifically that. Ah, dragon powder. So this one's good too. You can get dragon. You can come in here, raid it, get dragon powder, building supplies, other stuff. Where's the boss though? Oh fuck! <laughs> As I say that, <laughs> he's right behind me. Oh, like zoinks! He's right behind me, Scoot. Oh, drunkard's blade. I got that as the first drop. Damn, imagine we were on a live server. What a what a lucky find. It's the kind of weapon people farm fucking days for. It's just standing there menacingly. Yeah, I mean if they just take everything they did right with Conan and put it into the Dune game, then it'll probably be pretty banger, but it really depends. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, the Drunkard's Blade, dude, that is secret OP. I mean, it's hard to hit people with it. I mean, I guess back in the spear meta, people don't use spears anymore is what I've been reading. Not that I would know. I haven't fucking played this game in a long ass time. I like these. I like these, uh, these raidables, though. They're a lot, a lot more manageable. I think this would be nice to have it would, be, it would be nice to have more of these, like, smaller, like, stuff to read. You get loot. You can just leave. It doesn't have to be a big-ass base. <laughs> the massive what can it... Oh, yeah, that was a long-ass video. Those was, like, two and a half hours long. I like it. It's cozy. I still prefer the tier two, but that's just an aesthetic choice. Battle axe Andes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, I mean, spears have had their their time in the in the limelight. They've they've been meta since the game came out. I don't think it's the end of the world that spears are kind of out of it. Because some people, this was it was the case when like hammers were meta for like one week, and the spear babies pitched a fit until they got nerfed into the ground. But it's like, how how long are we gonna like roll around on the dogs of the desert server poking each other with spears? I mean, twelve years, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen years. Sup, Seb? Welcome to the stream. I mean, I'm just saying, it's not the end of the world if we have to adapt and use a weapon that isn't a spear for a change, you know. Thank you, Loch Ness. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we saw the two camps. What what else are we what have we not seen? Let's get a get some some tunes on. Slingshot meta win. <laughs> okay, so we check the ballista. The purging counters, I mean those are I saw the thieves, they're just invisible. Uh champions, I don't know what those are. I don't know what star colors are. The golems, those are kind of spooky. But it's also not super impactful for gameplay. How many people do purges, though? Bug fixes, quality of life, follower, we saw that. Oh, the fatalities. We haven't done the fatalities yet. Let's see if we can do one of those and see what it actually does. So I can turn the music off. We're not looking at the, the thing anymore. Hold on. Very amateur stream tonight. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's like people will pitch a fit if spears aren't meta, but it's like that's just because that's the weapon they're good with and they don't want to adapt. And they've, they've thumbed their nose at every other weapon in the game since the game came out. Oh, shit, there it is. How do I do it? Oh, you press E. Oh, I did it, though. 
I pushed E. Oh, no. I guess maybe I have to walk up and hit him. Oh, there it is. Okay. No closer. So I got fatality. Strength and agility weapon increased by 10%. And stamina regen. Damn. Does that stack? I never wanted to be here. I don't think it stacks. But that's kind of big though. That's a 10% damage increase with stamina regen. Yeah, but you know what it is. It's like the same 50 autismos that have been squatting on three private servers that are upset about the, the spears getting nerfed. God forbid the game change even a small, the smallest little bit. Yeah, the patch knows they say it stacks, but I don't see it. Heal 20% of max health by executing. That's kind of nice. That'll be nice for, like, farming favor. Although... If you're vulnerable during that animation... Let me try it again. Let me see if we can, like, do a, a, a heavy attack to not do the execute. Because if you're stuck doing that in the middle of a camp, you could probably get yourself killed. Yeah, that's true. As long as it's not dagger spamming, then we're we're not doing too bad as far as PvP metas are concerned. Really, none of none of those have an execute. None of these have an execute. None of these have an execute. Come on. I don't think the big guy counts. Let's head over here. Yeah, it's true that, like, sprinting attacks are... But that's for, like, group PvP. I, mean, I think there's still a lot of room for skill in, like, smaller smaller encounters. Especially tighter encounters. I mean, sprint attacks are one thing, but there's nothing stopping you from, from fighting in any other way. I think... I mean, ultimately, I, I just think people vastly overestimate the skill portion of spear PvP because they enjoy spears, which I understand that they enjoy it. But I don't think that spears are... I mean, compare it to some other games. Like, I don't think spear PvP is, like... It's it's not as impressive as, as people pretend that it is. Oh my god, I was, like, 20 feet away. And it still put me in the animation. I guess you really just have to be careful or else you're going to get dogpiled. But I was talking while I was moving, so I wasn't really saying what I meant. But you know what I mean? It's like, spear PvP in Conan Exiles is largely timing and, and slight aiming. Like, it's, it's not the most wildly impressive thing ever. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Ari. It's like, they talk like they're playing Quake or they're playing some, like, where the skill ceiling is super high. When, at the end of the day, most PvPers are, like, they're using macros... To like lock on, right click, unlock on. Some of them are using macros for the for the bomb switch, you know. It's like it's it's just not super hardcore. It's not that skillful. And most of the people who take it seriously are, are using macros anyways. Like there's just vast overestimations of skill level in this game. And you can tell too, because the people who care the most about the PvP their PvP skills are the ones that are playing in like five, ten man, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten man groups and only play on dedicated servers because if they die to lag, they'll pitch a fit and break their keyboard. You know, they won't touch an official server. They won't touch a server without a full clan. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I think a lot of the hardcore PvPers in this game are, are very full of themselves, but in terms of actual objective skill measurement, it's just not that impressive of a game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not... <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, how close can I be? All right, that's not so bad. I do like the new blood spurts, though, when you kill stuff. Is Tribes coming back? You know, and I don't say that to disparage PvPers. I don't think it's wrong to take this game seriously, because I, I clearly have my own hours in this game. 
but there's a there's a, a very vocal portion of Conan's PvP community that I just that gets on my nerves, drives me fucking nuts. Sup, Bard? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we checked. We checked the executes. Get the music back on. We got the fatalities. We did the sacred hunt. We unlocked all of that. Hmm. I think that's everything. I mean, as far as an update goes, like it's it's a fairly minor first patch. Although I guess it's chapter four. But the purge has got some updates. There's new content. Two new bases to raid. And so on and so forth. And a whole bunch of bug fixes. Maybe not major bugs, but there's bug fixes. Yeah, I mean, it's true that the, it's a cheesier meta, maybe, but I mean, realistically, most PvP in this game winds up being very cheesy. Like, you're either being ganked by 12 people on horses, or they're abusing thralls, or they're abusing bows, or they're abusing something, and you're just getting drowned. Like, the, the amount of, like, skillful, honorable 1v1s like, that only happens on a dual server once a week. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... Like, in practice, PvP is a very much a numbers game in this game. Or you're dealing with a clan that, like, pulls out their body vault with 30 million dragon powder on it and it wipes you while you're asleep. So as much as people will kvetch about, like, the, the individual damage values of specific weapons, you know, you log in and then, like, a Chinese clan glitches into your base through the wall. It just seems like it's, there's a disconnect there in terms of what's what's actually happening. What the actual gameplay looks like. Like, people pitch a fit about the armor pin being too high on a single legendary. It's like, okay, but let's let's focus on the uh, the Chinese guy under my floorboards. Let's, fo let's focus on that. <laughs> you know? Like, they're stuck on the refinement phase. And we have these other issues that we gotta deal with. Issues that'll probably never be dealt with just because the nature of the game. It just seems misplaced. That's all I'm saying. Again, not disparaging anything. Yeah, because, like, I get it. I understand why people use macros. You know, people have bomb macros and whatnot. But the only reason I bring that up is to say, you know, as much as people pretend that Conan is a very skill-based game, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game, or it's a macros game, or it's a, you know, abusing horses game back when those were busted and so on. Like, that's just how it is. <laughs> well, I've never used a macro, but that's because I don't I don't rely on combat because I know if I if I have to fight my way to victory, I'll just fucking lose, which is why I raid the way I do. It's a lot smarter as a as a solo. Yeah, exactly. Sergeant Donut gets what I'm saying. It's like if you if you walked into a house that was like caving in and the foundations were missing bricks and like someone was like they're like nitpicking the the paint chip on the outside of the house. It's like there's there's structural issues that are more important. I don't think the new Battle Pass is out. Honestly, I don't think Conan was ever really super skill-based. I mean, even back in the golden age of PvP, the vast majority of PvP was just group PvP. Like, it was large group against large group, abusing whatever happened to be in, in, in vogue at the time. That's not to say that there aren't skillful PvPers, because there's obviously a, a vast difference between people that have experience and people that don't. You know, the, the guys that have been poking each other on the, the Dogs of the Desert server since the game came out. <laughs> you know, they could probably smoke just about anybody in the game. But to, I just don't think the skill ceiling for this game is super high as all. I think we did just about all of the content. Hmm. Okay, so what do we do here? I was checking the the, <laughs> the website here. I forgot that it was still on the game video.
yeah that's what i'm saying like in a, in a real raid like outside of a dueling scenario i mean the skill just doesn't do as much thank you garth though i appreciate it i think that's it let me let me swap to the the original version of the game so it runs a little better i guess we'll fuck around for a little bit more and then we'll tap out let me uh let me put let me put this on the screen while i swap over i got you in a conan i have to apologize for that i'm sorry i did that to you <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. It is better than Ark. I mean, for all the for all the hate I give this game, I prefer it to almost every other survival game out there. I gotta apologize. I'm getting everybody into this game. <laughs> Oh, my game won't turn off. Hold on. Patience, everybody. I figure I'll launch the original, we'll fuck around, and then we'll wrap this up. I wanted to show something off. Because I, I made a, a YouTube short for this, but I kind of fucked up the formatting so it didn't come out right. What other games? I haven't had time to play other games. I've been playing, actually with my wife, and I have to train myself to say wife and not fiancé now. I'm still getting used to that. We literally signed the paperwork like a week ago. <laughs> it was, um... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know if you guys have seen that game. It's like an asymmetrical PvP game. Obviously, I play as the killers. It's like DVD, but less dog shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But that's what I've been playing. It's pretty much just that. I've been playing it with her in Pal World when it came out, and we both got super bored with it and gave up on it. <laughs> playing with the wife? <laughs> oh shit, the game froze. It's just a black screen. Patience, everybody. The devs for Texas Chainsaw Massacre are so, so bizarre. I don't think they'll ever be able to fix that game. Like they're, every change they make is so beyond weird. Yeah, they're like, they're unprofessional, although they have like one customer service rep who's, I feel so bad for him because he just takes the brunt of all the, cus the the customer feedback. No, he hasn't yet. Uh, my wife and I have been a, a fairly, fairly secluded bunch for the most part. She'll probably show up in a later stream, though. You'll hear her in the background laughing at me <laughs> while I'm playing Conan and getting myself killed. Thank you, thank you. I've been meaning to do more like variety streams though. Like just do stuff. Just to fuck around, like if I if I'm not making content. True. She let she lets me play video games. That's a hard thing to find in a partner, honestly. Like it's one of those things that you really can't overstate the the value of that. Like if I if I had to marry someone who just hated video games, was like one of those people, I don't know what I would do. Like I could probably give up games if I had to, but it's one of those things. Maybe I'll do a gaming with wife stream at some point. She she plays like all sweaty PvP games though. Like she plays Naraka, and I can't get into it because I just I don't really get it.
Well, I've pl I've played all the Soulsborne games, except I haven't played Bloodborne and I haven't played Dark Souls Three because I'm just I'm not gonna buy a PS4 or a PS3. I'm not gonna buy a console to play one game. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm forgetting the order here. I'm showing you how you can stack three rows of uh, this while we chat. Because why not while we're shit posting? This might be a little tight, but we'll see. I think I fucked up the placement on that. Yeah, it's like, it's nice to have a console, but I don't want to buy a console to play a game. You know what I mean? Like I've played Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and then Elden Ring, but I don't want to buy a console. Did I say Dark Souls 3? I think I, I meant to say Demon Souls. Like, I don't, I'm not going to buy a console to play Demon's Souls, and I don't want to buy, buy a console to play Bloodborne. Like, it's, it's like a couple hundred bucks. I mean, I'm sure the, the price is probably quite lower now. Like, you can get away with spending a lot less. Well, that's the thing like if you had to give up something that that you would enjoy like the the relationship would be pretty doomed wouldn't it like it's just smarter to find somebody who's got the same interest with you so you know finding somebody who can who wants to play no i fucked it up they're too high no all right which one's blocking it though well you can see how it works at least it's been demonstrated they can fit unless it's hard drugs yeah <laughs> probably a good idea to give those up How long did it take to find the formula for the crafting base? I mean, that I was working on that on and off for fucking years, like perfecting the formula. Once I figured out how to stack stuff on incense burners, though, I mean, it took me like a week. And then I had it all down. And it was perfected. Well, if you place these properly, you can put a ceiling on them. I kind of fucked this one up, though. It's important to find people that you can actually... I mean, sometimes, you know, the person is worth it. You can, you can find new things to like, you know. People are... You've got an elastic brain, you know. But it really depends. Have I talked about Satan and Car I don't even know if I want to start. I don't want to in my in my headspace. I actually haven't. I didn't wind up revisiting that. In fact, let me fucking... Go take a headache pill before I even start on that. I'm going to take a piss break. The first piss break of the night. I don't know how long we're going to go today, but... <laughs> let me... Let me go get something for my headache. Because I have just been feeling like dog shit since I got off the plane. It was a one... It was like a 38-hour trip. A 6-hour flight, a 12-hour flight, and then a 4-hour flight. And then something else. And I had to, like, drive home. And there was layover in between. Just, oh, it's fucking unreal. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me put the uh, let me put a bumper on. Pissing all by yourself. Let me, let me mute this, and then we'll do. Oh, let's put the cowboy one on. There we go. All right, hold on. I'll be I'll be right back, boys. Late, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh.
Okay, I'm back. That I could not find my Excedrin. I apologize. Let me <laughs> let me let me scroll up on the chat here and and uh, get caught up. I took a fat piss, so I, I take long I take long pisses. I drink a lot of fluids. I pee like I mean it. You know, some people just trickle. Fire hose. Middle of the toilet. I don't even pee on the side of the bowl. I want it to sound like I'm frying chicken in there every time. Ah, it makes it more satisfying. I don't care what anybody says. I live life to the fullest. Okay, so what, what were we talking about before we... uh? <laughs> <laughs> Before that uh, detour. Oh, right. I'm debating whether or not to even talk about the mother-in-law situation. Because it's not even just that she's like weird and quirky in, in a funny way. It's that she's genuinely the most mentally ill person I've ever met in my life. I think I've gotten maybe an hour of sleep a night for the last, like, four months at most. Like, she'll wake me up at three in the morning, then at four in the morning, and then at five in the morning, and at two in the morning. To, like, for, like, nothing. She'll, like, knock on my door and wake me up. Like, do you want any sweet potatoes? It's like, what has possessed you to knock on my door at two in the morning to give me sweet potatoes? Like, do you have a brain like Swiss cheese? Like, she doesn't bathe. She just smells weird. I, I shouldn't even get started. I feel like if this gets back to her, it'll be a problem. But she's just... Oh, just an unhinged lady. Don't like her one bit. Like, all of the... I know it's almost a cliche, but, like, the, all the memes about having, like, an evil mother-in-law. She is, like, the manifestation of that. Like, why am I up at that time? Why is she up at that time? She sleeps two hours a night. I'm not even kidding. She'll sleep for two hours, then get up and just start, like, banging pots and pans around. Not even cooking. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're not going to focus on it. it we're not even going to focus on it. The woman the woman is un, unwell. And that's an understatement. A vampire? No, she's got fucking something, dude. No, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't live with her. I, I was, I spent some time over there to get to know her. Cause she didn't like me. She's she's one of those people like she hated me. Like she didn't want me to date her daughter, until I met her in person. I was like, oh, he's quite handsome. And from that point on, she was weirdly nice to me. Like she's just a greasy, one of those slimy people. Yeah, I better not get started. Get started anyways. Exactly. So I gotta stop myself. I just keep going. <clears throat> I'm digging myself a grave. I'm getting myself in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't say nothing. Okay, so we're, I'm, I'm going to show you. I had this setup. I had this, like, crazy setup where I can get four tanneries in the 2x2. Two two. Four tanneries, six alchemy tables, and two tanners tables for stretching uh, hides inside this 2x2. Two two. And it's I haven't yet figured out how to make it, like, easy... No, I'm not even gonna get started because if, if I, it's gonna, it's gonna be a problem. This woman's gonna like hear it in the ether, and it's gonna be my problem for the rest of time. And uh, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. I forget where this actually places though. Forget how to place this in the Discord? No, I can't do it. It's just asking for trouble. <laughs> Lizard Zeal, there's no way. I can tell you for sure that. Uh... You know, no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I am. I keep, I keep almost falling for it. Like there's no way that that would end well for me. Yeah, all of these are possible without flying. Like, I can do the, um... Like, it takes some shenanigans. It definitely... It takes a long time to build it without flying. Because I did a, uh... 
I did a playthrough. I was trying to do a playthrough on an Asian server while I was gone, and I was living out of one of these 2 by 2s So, like, it's doable, but it, ta it just takes time to, to get all the, the components right. Like, the blacksmith is, the, uh, unironically, the hardest one to place properly. If it's off by a fucking pixel, the entire thing doesn't work. That's true. I'm and I'm actually not that worried about getting doxxed. I got nothing to hide. Come at me. No, I'm just kidding. That would be a bad thing. But <laughs> I'm 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 iron unironically more. I'm less worried about like random psychos. I'm more worried about her. This woman's like a, a fucking maniac. She has 26 dogs. I'll say that. And that's all I'll say. It's true. Like she, she likes me now. For now, and I need her to be, I need her to be on my good side for now. Cause we're, it's just a, it's a tentative situation. But as long as she, she likes me for now, things are easier. And then once I have certain things taken care of, then we can cut contact, and I can give you guys the full scoop. No, I didn't put them close enough to the wall. Tragedy. Oh yeah, my wife agrees. So we're we're gonna cut contact once. I shouldn't say that. If that gets back to her, we're fucking dead. <laughs> it's just an, an endless problem. An endless problem. I told you, fucking twenty-six dogs. The other lady's. Uh... She's not okay in the head. See, this one is the most annoying one to place. you overlapping with stop breaking my balls it's ever so slightly too close am i gonna try the dune game uh, maybe i don't really know anything about dune like as a as a setting i've never read the books I have no idea when that's out. It's Conan with ornithopters. That's about what I've heard so far. Oh, I turned off the music. I was going to say, it's like weirdly quiet in this game all of a sudden. We actually do need the chests, though. Like, those aren't purely decorative. The last one here. Need. If these are aligned properly, it will let me build quite a bit here. Why it's so easy to get into a base? I have no idea. <laughs> it's just coding in general, though. Hmm. 
Uh, hold on, let me see. I think these are too close. Damn it. The only tragedy of like stacking benches is that if you do screw something up, you do have to start over. And Conan's a fun game, so it's not a bad game to come back to. It's just one of those things where it, it has so many of its own problems on top of being a, a relatively good game that, yeah, it really gets in the way. Wow, I'm screwing everything up. We're screwing everything up. The way I built this on a live server was I, like, I built a a roof on here, like a, a bulb, like a mushroom head. So I had like safety that I could wiggle around in. I feel like this is this is the most annoying one. Thanks, Abdul. Appreciate it. Isn't it wild that McDoubles are fucking four bucks now though? Holy fuck, they used to be like a, a buck sixty. These days, you can't even get a cheap McDonald's burger anymore. How bad is the economy if McDonald's is bougie? Americans are priced out of McDonald's. Isn't McDonald's the stereotypical food for us Americans and you can't even afford it? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I can tolerate the rest of Conan Exiles. If they just, like, banned cheaters, that would make life so much simpler. I mean, and I get it. It's like, you can't, it's it's hard to police a game like this. Like, ideally, the smarter choice would be to fix the exploits so that they can't use them, but <clears throat> you wind up with the worst of both worlds where you kind of can't get people banned. And the exploits stay around forever. Well, it's not even that their dollar menu isn't a dollar. It's the fact that getting like a Big Mac meal costs, where I live, it's 14 bucks. And I'm not even in a city. I'm in a small town. Like 14 bucks for a fucking Big Mac? Like I, I can go to an actual restaurant for that price. You know what I mean? Yeah, but 1530's always had cheaters on it, though. That's, like, the one go-to server for a lot of people in North America. Of course. Of course. This one's not close enough. I promise. This is, this is going to be, this is gonna be pretty, pretty dope when, when it's... If I can actually get it to be built on this stream here. Mostly just wasting time so we can shitpost, because I think we went through all the patch notes. Yeah, 1530 can be fun, but <clears throat> it's also a magnet for some of Conan's biggest cocksuckers. Subscriber server event? I don't want that. I don't even think I could keep a server full, even if I did like a full hype campaign for it. I don't think there's enough people that actually play this game. We'd wind up with, like, maybe 15 people on at certain hours of the day. Five twenty euros? Damn! It was like six, seven bucks. Is the Discord restricted? No, there's a Discord. It's uh, anyone can join. If you say Conan in the general chat, your message gets deleted, though. That's to protect my sanity. <laughs> I have a, a fragile psyche. I can only handle so much exposure to Conan.
Yeah, th but the private servers have a, a very a dedicated player base. with They have a very specific expectation of their experience, which there's nothing wrong with that. But getting them to play in a different way or play like something that isn't just the same the same meta gameplay we've had since forever is is very very difficult like it's hard to get a server going that isn't just a, a carbon copy of the pvp experience I need to tilt this it's kind of weird maybe that'll work though Are these still too close? I was gonna say, after all that wiggling. Hopefully it's not sticking out. It's sticking out! Tragedy. Actually, I think it has to, so you just have to have your tunnel on this side. It's like if you if you keep your tunnel on this side, you cover this, and it doesn't really matter. It's true, at least you won't have hackers, but it's still a pain in the butt, though. It's one of those things where it's like, because Conan is the way that Conan is, you really have to baby it if you want it to survive. If you can get the contact to work. I forget how I got this to work before, but there's like a... If you get just enough coverage, like right around here, you can get two alchemy tables to stand on the tanner's table. It's a very finicky. Like, if you're off by a pixel, it's not going to let you do it. I think it's overlapping with the Tanner's table. The incredibly hidden room over near the middle jungle obelisk? Like, what do you mean? You mean towards the south? Yeah, I've noticed that. North American servers, it's a lot of Spanish, and then the European servers, it's Turkish and Russian. Near the top river. Hidden room. You'll have to guide me. You're not talking about the barracks, right? The barracks are the ceiling base? I'm like, I was going to say, it couldn't be the barracks. That's like a meta location. I don't know about super secret hidden room. Near the obelisk. Well, let's take a look. I don't have anything off the top of my head. Thank you, Hades. I appreciate it. In one of the broken buildings. Hmm. <laughs> let's go looking. Is it... Could you be talking about... Is that the wrong spot here? I think I do. Yeah, 
this isn't the right bridge. I think it's it might be this one. You don't mean this spot, right? Used for a big inside base. Oh yeah, I don't read my DMs on Discord because I just don't. Because <laughs> I'm a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm a difficult man for no reason. I don't answer my texts either, and I don't pick up my phone, so it's not even just Discord. I just don't like being contacted because I'm a pain. Um, I mean, you could probably just, like, send it to me. I guess I'll check it now. What's your name on Discord? Because I'm kind of not... It's... Yeah, other, other people can be a hassle. Like, when I'm out in public, I don't like it when people talk to me. I try to mind my own business. Ronnie one. Okay. Okay, I'm looking at your chat if you want to just send me the picture. <laughs> YouTuber wishes to not be noticed. Well, I'm anonymous for now. For now, anyways. I'm sure somebody will eventually dox me, and that'll be it. Cronk on the big wide web. I'm trying to think. Like, a, in one of the structures, super secret room. Used for a big interior base. Near the middle jungle obelisk. This is good. This will be a location that I've never seen because I can't even think about it. Thought about Myth of Empires? You know, I actually streamed that when it first came out and it was such a janky piece of shit. <laughs> and that game seems like it's built. It's like built for um for large clans. And it's, it's very much so like a large politic kind of game. Like, it's probably not bad, but... But, like, I, I don't know if I would... Uh, I don't think it'll, it'll ever be a game that I would enjoy. The structure people use for the big interior base. I don't actually see people build over here very much. At least not in the structures. Although noobs tend to, but I've never seen anyone build, like, an actual... An actual base. Hidden ass room near the jungle obelisk. I mean, is it this structure here that you're talking about? Okay. Secret room. In in the window. In this window? Can you actually get through there, though? Or do you need a like a, a bedroll? You can get through the back. Well, I'll be damned. This is a location I've I've never even knew about. Squeeze me in. Squeeze me in. I think I did make a small character. Come on. Put me in. Well, I think I am a small character. Ah, ah we're in. Oh, I see. What a cheeky little spot this is. You could probably use arrows to raid it from over there, though, couldn't you? Very nice. Does this wall have hard collision? Oh, it does. It won't let me put a foundation. Let's see here. Let's test this.
Yeah, this wall has hard collision. That'll make it annoying, but you can still probably build in here. I get you. Just use this like a stash. Not squeezing in and out of here is probably a process, but... I mean, in exchange for being hard to find... Out. Let me out. This is a cheeky spot, though. I never even knew that existed. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it. I'm pretty sure I made a small character. I, I mean, it's possible that maybe I didn't. We'll call it Ronnie's Dirty Hole. <laughs> and squeeze out the other side, too. Yeah, that seems like a hassle, though. So you have to claim this spot. I always wondered, because I've seen people who play this game who know better, who build in this spot, and I've always wondered why. Maybe they're stashing their shit in there. Oh, the volcano spot? That's an equally greasy location over here. It's this spot here where this guy spawns. Right at the, the corner here. Go behind him, and you climb down here. This is where I was gonna build my base before those cocksuckers took it. Super easy to climb in and out of too. <laughs> That's a nasty spot. Of course, now that it's been in a video, I mean, people know about it. I do think I'm going to do a supercut of that playthrough, though. I think that the algorithm did that one dirty. It demonetized every video in, that I uploaded. And it dis it disabled the comments on three of the videos multiple times. Like, literally 15 times each. So at some point, I'm just going to splice them together and re-upload it. Part of me feels shameful for doing that, because it's just kind of reusing content. But I don't think that, that YouTube gave it a fair shake. There's, like, 50 comments on every video that's, like... Man, I've got the bell and everything notified, and I never saw this video uploaded, like, several months later. Like, yeah, YouTube's got a fucking pillow over my head. Eh, got done dirty. It's because I'm making a name for myself as a, as a naked maniac, like a naked man. Contain this man. Yeah, I'm going to probably upload it like as a supercut and I'm going to just like edit the memes out and then maybe try to clean it up a little, add something, make it make it so that it's not just a, a re-upload, but, you know, try to spice it up a little bit, add some new skits, figure things out. No, it's because you, it you typed Ronnie earlier. YouTube doesn't say your name. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a great one inside the sinkhole. There's a lot of good spots to hide bodies in the desert. Which is true in real life, I would assume. Here's a good spot, too. You don't tend to get found in here. You can't build in here, which is a shame, but you can hide stuff in here. I had a lot of hiding spots that I don't use anymore because people foundations uh, sweep too often, so I just like build a rat's nest and call it a day. There's still some decent hiding spots in this game. How do you, how do you pronounce your name? It's uh, Serenistes. It's just the Latin name of an ugly fish with some of the letters changed around. It doesn't actually mean anything. If I had known I was going to be sticking with YouTube, I would have picked something easier to pronounce. I just use it because uh, it's never taken, so... <laughs> Now I'm stuck with this impossible to pronounce name. People have always told me it's hard to Google my channel when they're looking for it on YouTube. It's like, yeah, I probably should have went with something like monosyllabic before uploading videos, but it's too late now. I can't switch it. I mean, I can switch it, but I'm not gonna. What was I doing? I guess we're just flying around and fucking around. Just a few letters off from, just a cough and a sneeze away from Kronk. 
Yeah, it's still going. I was just I was just about to say out loud that I think we're just about done with everything. We're just fucking around and uh maybe we wrap it up. Is there anything else people wanted to see and try out? We went over the patch notes, we tested everything, we tested the ballista. We did the new content. Did I have to ask for Lingy? Because <laughs> the name is such a pain. I was stacking it at a two by two, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. <laughs> Do it all again, I just got here. Well okay, we'll start over guys. We're gonna start with the, the content, we're gonna go kill the, the bear. Trouble is if I give away all my spots, then I have nothing for my playthroughs. This time, do it like you mean it. When's the next playthrough? Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know when we have time for it. Because I need I need to have like uninterrupted play time to be able to get along as a solo. Because this game's hard to play as a solo. If you don't have a team, you really need to be able to like sink a ton of fucking hours in. So like, if, if you have something that interrupts even just like one day and that's your raid day, like all your plans kind of just go up in smoke. It's a very sweaty game for a solo player. Have I been in touch with the devs at Funcom? I've talked with a few. On and off. I won't say who or when or why, because I'm sure... I don't know, I've been very critical of Funcom in the past, and it probably makes more sense to have me at, at arm's length, but I do chat with them at times. Yeah, I never got to use the volcano. I never even got to do the volcano playthrough. We're getting rid of the rolling thrust. That's probably for the best, though, honestly. The way it is right now. I mean, it, it, it's already like there's no stamina at all, but, you know, people are just spamming the roll and the stab. Did they? Yeah, I was going to say, did they talk about changing it, or what were they going to do? Haven't been brought in on collabs. I, I don't know. I've actually never been asked. I had some people ask if I wanted to do a collab with Old Craig. And the only reason I said no is because Old Craig seems like a very chill player. And I don't want him to feel pressured into playing sweaty. Like, Because that's never enjoyable either, you know? Like when you're with someone who's got the, the, the different pace. I wouldn't mind like just messing around doing like a trap base though, but... We'd have to like talk at it, find time too, because that's the other issue is I have very little time to play on occasion. Like sometimes I've got like a week where I can just no life it, and other times I just don't. Yeah, I enjoy old Craig. I, I used to watch his videos when I was a, a brand stinking new noob, like when I knew nothing. Yeah, I watch Eradicated. I think we've, we've talked before. I've talked with a lot of cr uh, content creators, but uh, I'm not sure what we would collab on anyways, even if someone wanted to collab. <laughs> All I kind of do is shit post. <laughs> I don't do nothing, and I don't know the console, so I couldn't collab with someone on PlayStation. Plus, I'm kind of just a pain in the ass. A pre-nerf horse, I would uninstall immediately. Attack the Neebs crew. <laughs> I was watching some of their, their latest series. Kind of a shame without Thick though, isn't it? Kind of just like hangs in the back of your mind. Big brain raids and shit posts. That's the way to live. Yeah, it's just Old Craig. If you just Google Old or search Old Craig, it should be the first channel that pops up. Well, Thick died. That's what happened. It was cancer, apparently. It just feels weird that he's not there for the for the new series. You know what I mean? You can't help but think. Maybe it's just me, but I can't help but think about it. You know what I mean? Like I won't even make a joke about cancer and Conan. That's just a shame.
It's still a fun series, though. They've been doing a good job. I saw Wack was on, on an, uh, a recent video. I haven't seen the actual video, though. Sup, bud? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I didn't even realize that they were doing collabs. Because they're out there, uh... I figured they kind of had their own thing going. What was I doing? I was looking for something I forgot. I guess we're just flying around and shit posting. Why stress? Yeah, Old Craig's doing a series right now, actually. I think if I have if I had to play with the uh, Zello, I'd probably have to get good at PvP though. He'd have to train me. <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I actually PvP'd in this game. Because nine times out of ten. You're either offline or you're getting drowned by like a clan of 15 people, so your your combat skills just don't matter. So I just haven't haven't had the chance to have a, a regular ass fight. You know, rolling thrust. I saw one guy. He uploaded a video of him doing like, going invisible with sorcery, and like full corrupted strength with a sword of crom, and like sneak it up on dudes and killing them in one hit. That seems like fun as fuck. <laughs> I just I want to try that if I ever get that sword. I just don't think I have the tism necessary to farm it. See you, bud. Thanks for stopping by. Let's turn this fucking music down. That's a that's an odd track to have for for shit posting. Really, never got rated in the savannah of all places. The one that just built and built and built? Um, I don't think so. He did play for a little while recently, but I don't know if he still plays consistently. Got some news about chapter... Well, no, I don't have any insider knowledge. Just what was in the patch notes. Yeah, main... We got, like... What's the word for that? Not menacing, but, like, uh, fucking... Mysterious mystery shit posting. We've got something dangerous behind us while we shit post. You know, the last like 10 times I played, nobody was in this spot. I think it's just become too well known. Every single Heidi Hole video on YouTube has this spot. Nobody uses it anymore, which is this spot used to be so like you you could just squat here for months and nobody would find you until eventually people started posting it every other day. It's just a rest in peace this spot, man. Stretch out here. I could switch games while we should post. Play some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Kill some teenagers to pass the time. I don't even know what else I would show. I don't actually have that many hiding spots that aren't like well known by now. Like this was my greasiest one, and I walked over there for that playthrough, and there was a base in it. So it's like. <laughs> Like, damn, I guess it's it, it really is all known. Everybody knows everything. Forty-five minute Among Us soundbite. I still get comments on that video, by the way. Those those are my favorite comments to read. Like that's my favorite video I've ever made. Like a long paragraph, like trying to give their own notes, followed by an edit that says "you motherfucker" because they made it to the end of the video. <laughs> It was all worth it. Oh, the cradle. This is a nostalgic spot for me. So cozy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that video took a lot of took a lot a lot of thought to put that one together. It was a very very high effort shit post. Yeah. 
extremely high effort shit posting. That's the thing. I mean, I, I've given up on hiding spots because it's just there's no good spots to hide anymore, and because it's so easy to raid, it's like, I mostly just build. Uh... Aha! I did build. I built this one in survival. I was practicing. I think I am actually too tall because I should be able to squeeze in here and I can't. I think I accidentally made a tall character. Or there's no bedroll there. Let me see. I bought this DLC pack, by the way, from the Bazaar. I got Mommy's credit card because I had to test something. This is the Crypt set. And buy a bandage outfit. <laughs> what is with the pricing in this fucking game? Was that 20 bucks for a set of armor and some some stuff? Jesus Christ. It's like 8 bucks for some bandages. Like on the one hand that's a fun outfit, but $8 for it. I had to spend some cuz I had to test this building set in particular. Which I found something cool out. I'm not sure if I'm going to share it though. Not yet anyways. I've discovered something. I think I'm just too wide. I can't get in here. Tragedy. The best part about what I discovered here, though, is that it's like it's only it's. I noticed something that's only good for solo players. Like it has no benefit for larger clans. Kind of like the rat's nest setups that I've been posting around. Like it's not even that big of a, a buff or a benefit, but it's it's very useful for a very specific application. You know what's a cheeky spot that fell out of favor? It's not that the HP is higher, it just has a very specific application that helps out with something. This is a spot that nobody uses anymore. I can't remember the last time somebody actually built in here. You can comfortably fit almost an entire base in here without much issue. Yeah, because this is one of the few that you can actually build inside, as long as you don't, like, have your buildings poking out. Because most people don't even think to check that, since every other one you can't build in. Yeah, a lot of the DLC, because you can stack, like, uh, pyramid stuff and get the pillars in there and have 600-something thousand health, but uh, the the... The, um, what the fuck building set is that called? Lost Dungeon? It's got a, it's got a different application. Yeah, you can't defend it, but it's, <laughs> you wouldn't build there for the defense. It's just for, for not being seen for the most part. Because every other one you can't build in, so most people don't know that that one you can build inside. And there's one tree over here that I like to hide in. I don't build here anymore, but this used to be used to be one of my go-tos because it's like a tree against a cliff, and you can build it so that it doesn't show up at the bottom. Like it's very very narrow in here, but if you know how to bench stack, you can fit a base in here and live relatively comfortably. Like I won't say super comfortably because it is very tight. What is wrong with my character? Let me out. I must have increased the height at some point without realizing.
In the mounds? Yeah, up in the hills. <laughs> Too much wedding cake. start to I think we'll start winding this down though I think I ran out of stuff to talk about more or less we went over all the patch notes we fucked around we stacked stuff I hinted at some future content that that hiding spot over here that was a new one I didn't know that one even existed but I'm also not surprised though because there's always little hiding spots at the the structures being against the walls Maybe I'll use that in a future playthrough, possibly. Although these days I just stash my loot under a rock, call it a day. And 99% of people will never see it. Well, that's what I was saying. It looked like you could shoot arrows through the window, but like if you just put a stash on the other side of the wall, like not an actual base, but just like a foundation with some chests on it, I feel like it would have worked pretty well. Although the trouble with using like a spot, like a dedicated spot, is if anybody knows about it, they'll check it. <laughs> I bought this set to test something and I had an idea for it and it didn't work. So that's money down the drain. I got the sandstone upgrade set. Yeah, it's with those uh, little, little, uh, the worms, right? They just spawn forever. Whenever your thralls eat them and they just keep spawning. <sighs> what are we at? Four hours, that's a pretty decent stream. I think we'll I think what we'll do is we'll call it. We went over the, everything we needed to. We talked, we shit posted, we laughed, we enjoyed each other's company. I gotta get some grub, get something to eat. Oh yeah, getting getting like uh, like vaults under the ice. That was cra that was. You can apparently get banned for that these days, though. So at least there's something you can do about it. Under ice vaults, don't like them. <laughs> Rise and fall of nations. Two x two boxes. But we went over to everything we wanted to go over. And I'm out of juice. I'm exhausted. I'm still recovered. I'm still jet lagged as fuck. So <laughs> I'm going to put my feet up, relax. There is content coming. I have a couple videos in the works. Now that the, the new uh, chapter is out on Test Lab, I'm going to have to update the videos anyway. So it's good I did that first. But there's content coming, boys. It is on the way. Boys and like one or two girls. Statistic According to my YouTube statistics, I have like three female viewers. So I'll, I'll include them. It is like ninety nine percent male though. <laughs> not a lot of not a lot of women in the Conan space. Makes it all the more hilarious that people fall for the uh that those dudes fell for the uh the fucking Doctor Girlfriend impression that I did on the last place. <laughs> it's like, but it's a female character, it must be a woman. So like, I don't think so. Wow, so I'm up. To, I'm from three female viewers to like five. We're making gains. <laughs> I'll do more streams. I said that last time, and then I fell off the face of the earth. But uh, I'll find time for it. More variety streams too. It doesn't always have to be Conan. Because I mean, there's so much you can do. I can't really do a playthrough on stream in Conan as a solo player because just, I'll just show where all my loot is and just lose immediately. No, oh, it's not fiance anymore, it's a wife. If I say fiance, she'll kill us all. <laughs> Name <Nibin> Crumb. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Cronk it. I'll give her I'll give her the happy wishes, but yeah, I gotta wrap this up. My throat's starting to it was starting to get a little, a little sore. I'll see you guys around. Keep your eyes peeled. There's content coming. 
Uh, I was I did not abandon the channel. I was busy. We'll be back to business as usual soon. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you again for the donations and the views and the likes. Name the baby after the mother-in-law. That would be that would be a cruel thing to do. <laughs> that would be cruel. Someday I'll tell you the full story about that woman, but I'm going to wait until our situation is sorted. Okay, time to turn it off. Oh shit, I have to open it on YouTube first. Okay, so we have a couple extra minutes together, boys. <laughs> oh, hold on, I have to open it up on YouTube and then close it. No, wait, no, I don't. I can use my OBS. I'm fucking, God, I'm retarded. All right, I will see everybody later.